video now. And uh, Blake, go ahead and talk about um, any changes that you made to the deck and kind of where we're at with it and where you're at with it. Um, so what I I started with uh, the list we pulled from Jeff Hoogland's website. Okay. Um, one of the things I didn't like was the Serum Visions. Okay. Um, this whole deck is mainly instant speed, aside from the Planeswalkers. So I wanted to get more towards that, so I took the Serum Visions out for the Ops. Um, some more early game interaction. I put a Spell Snare in. It was okay. what pretty good in most control decks. What did you take out for the Spell Snare? Um, I trimmed... A Gideon. A Gideon? Okay. Uh, yeah. I trimmed a Gideon and I you, trimmed you a... You would do that to the good father? I... <laughs> <laughs> I would do that to the good father. Okay. And uh, I also trimmed a Mana Leak for a Logic Knot. Okay. Um, I really like Logic Knot in this deck um, for the main reason that sometimes you have to plus and discard your Emrakul for Nahiri. Okay. And you don't really want to be shuffling back in cards you don't want to redraw. And so if you can find that logic not early enough, you can exile it. exile those cards like your fetch lands. Now, is there a case that because you're doing that as well, drawing the logic not after you've binned your Emrakul, it's going to make it worse? Um, Potentially, but you can just plus it away. Okay. Um, that's, the re that's the reason you play three Anger of the Gods, too, is if it's not good, you have any hero, you can just get rid of it. Okay. Um, Other than that, it looks like the main deck is the same. Uh, the only other thing I changed was uh, I took a Celestial Colony out for a second Field of Ruin. Okay. Just a big fan of Field of Ruin right now. All right. And then over in the sideboard, I know we made a ton of changes here. We did. Um, we trimmed a Dampening Sphere, and let's see what else did we do. Now, I will make one comment on this. Uh, we just borrowed this deck from uh, Mana Traders. I'm unfortunately capped at 370. Um, at a single time. So we do have a rest in peace here that should be a surgical. Um, surgicals are just ridiculously expensive on Moto right now. So that pushes us over the cap. So we opted to um, keep as much of the deck together as possible. But in paper right now, we do have two surgicals, not a surgical and a rest in peace. Okay, mm -hmm. if you are thinking about building this deck. Yeah, surgical is just much better with Snapcaster Mage. Right, for sure. So... Um, and I split the wear tears to one wear tear and one celestial purge. Okay. Um, just for that off chance, you're hitting uh, your green black decks. It's very good against the green black decks hitting Lilianas. Okay. And for anyone that can't quite make it out here, we are running one celestial purge, one timely, one wrath, um, one dispel, two negates, two vendillion clicks. Um, one surgical and one rest in peace. But like I said, it should be two surgicals. Mm -hmm. uh, one supreme verdict, one wear and tear. Two Damping Spheres and an EE. I do have the list on our Stream Decker as well. So, um, Yes, uh, as far as the, the Bant Eldrazi list, um, the idea is that you're kind of just uh, pressuring them. You're getting the uh, really efficient uh, you know, curve because you have Temple to power it out. You're also relying on that Noble Hierarch to give you a higher chance of getting that turn to... Um, Thought not Seer, and then Displacer lets you do some really strong interactions. The reason I like that deck right now is because of Thalia, mainly. Um, Thalia is just really strong in the format yeah. right now. It yeah. slows down all the decks, so I think that's one of the biggest reasons to play it. I did test out some of the other Thalia-based decks, um, but I keep coming back to that one in paper. Uh, so we're going to jump into a comp league here. Oh boy, looks like a good league. That you're Vanifar League? Uh, that one? Yeah. I don't know if that... Was that Vanifar or is that... Um, I don't know. You have 4-1. I go 4-1 with a lot of dice. <laughs> 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 I play a lot better when I'm not on the stream, unfortunately, because I'm not, like, bouncing between two things, and I'm not, like, having a conversation while I'm trying to play. Mm. Um... So like I make like I see I make a lot of mistakes online, and I'm always thinking like people are just like thinking I'm a just a terrible magic player, and I make like the well, easiest mistakes. Well, a <laughs> so little bit. I, I, am the person. <laughs> uh, I actually think that was uh, Tron though. Um, no, I went. No, no, you I did five zero with Tron. You said I five zero with Tron, then I four one with Tron, then I four one with Vanifar. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to be controlling the keyboard here, but Blake is going to be playing the game for us. Um, so we got a th uh, three spells. I mean, four. Uh, yeah, three spells, four lands here. What do you think? You want to keep this? 
Man, this is a rough one. Um, we have one blue source. We do. Uh, we, we do have an opt, and we do have a field of ruin to go get another blue source if necessary here. Our only problem is going to come if this is a combo deck we're playing against, which... Well, we're, we're bad know. against combo decks anyway. <laughs> Fair. So, with that logic, probably would keep this game. <laughs> okay. Uh... We just, like, with this deck, we always just want creature matchups. Pretty much. That's what we learned last time we played it on stream. Alright. <laughs> so we'll ship this over. Oh, boy. Utopia Sprawl. Okay. That's All interesting. Right. So it's not... It's Ponza or one of the ramp decks that are along the Ponza yeah. schemes. I was um, worried it was Valica. We would be in trouble there. Yeah, yeah, we would have been in trouble. Um, I just opt in response here. Okay, we're opting. And we've got a Spell Snare. That is generally pretty bad against these decks, I feel like. Um, they usually have a lot of three drops they're trying to bring Yeah, they usually go from one to three or four. Yeah, so, so I'd probably bottom that. All right, it is gone. Another Bolt could be, could be useful. I'm not okay. sure yet. All right, I'll go back to our turn here. All right, what do you want to run out here uh, as far as the Probably lead down the Scalding Tarn here. All right, Scalding Tarn. And pass her back. Ship it over. Mm -hmm. Then plan on fetching a uh, Steam Vents on their end step. Steam Vents, okay. Now the question is, are you going to want a Field of Ruin, that uh, that Stomping Ground, to take them off of their ability to ramp here? Um, Probably next turn. Okay. I was, you want to hide that as long as you possibly can, usually. <laughs> Especially <laughs> now. Um, we are going to punish... <laughs> Them. Oh. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. It's going to hurt a little bit for them. Oh, they're on one land, too. Oh, boy. Okay. They're, they're going to regret keeping this. Now, yeah, oh, my gosh. Fetching up the steam vents here. All right. So, fetch. <laughs> steam vents. Tapped. Our turn. Yeah. Blow them out. <laughs> All right. Now, what land do you want to uh, get? A basic island. Basic island? Yep. Okay. Um... All right, we just got a, a good two for one there. Drats, they found another land. Yeah. All right, now it's a pretty good draw. Just uh, play Sacred Foundry tapped. Okay, Sacred Foundry tapped, and we will ship it over here. Playing the snap opt on their end step. Get a little pressure going. Okay. They're gonna bolt. That's fine. Guys. Ah, do you want a glacial fortress? Yeah, um, probably not. Bottom of that. And then we got a Steam Vents. Let's burn out the good fathers. Alrighty. And here we probably want to plus get them out of bolt range. Sure. Just because we've seen they have the bolt. Mm-hmm. Lock down that stomp guard, ain't gonna do anything to us. Okay. Okay. Bolt it? Oh, yeah. Now, I imagine we're just gonna play Steam Bend Stat, or? Yeah. Yeah, we don't. We're not trying to race that hard, but we are gonna start attacking, put some pressure on them. Punish them. Oh, we've got nine damage in hand here. So, and they just shock themselves. Damn. That's a Thrun. <laughs> well, you uh, see. That's actually fine though, right? Because they have to, we're going to be able to go Bolt Helix them mm -hmm. on our turn, Bolt them, force them to block, and our Gideon stays alive? Um, or do you want to I like plus in the Gideon and okay. force them to attack the Gideon. Really? Leaving them at one, maybe. Because, like, there is the option where we just Bolt them here. Well, right? Yeah. We, no, no, like we just bolt them down to seven, let it go to our turn, tick up Gideon and swing. If they don't block, just kill them. Gideon is, is to swing is a zero. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's not a plus, but uh, just make them a uh, zero and swing. And if they don't block, we just win, right? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. I like that. 
Alternatively, we can just not bolt them at all because we have three red sources. It gives them even less incentive to um, block. Okay. So you don't want to bolt at all? I don't see why we should. Okay. Then we will just let it go back to our turn. And we'll see if they want to give up their Thrun. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's just try our plane. Yeah. There is the option that we could possibly just cryptic tap, but because we didn't bolt them, I don't think we have enough. Nope. So. Cool. Easy peasy. Not even an issue. So they seem to be on a green reddish ramp deck. Yeah. Um, we didn't see any Ponza like effects, no land destruction effects. They look to just be a mid range probably ramp a blood, deck. Probably a Blood Moon deck as well. Okay. Um, so we're definitely going to like both Wear Terror, uh, Celestial Purge. All right. So the Wear Terror and the Purge. Uh, we saw Thrun. Mm hmm. And we know their creature deck, so I like bringing in the Wraths. Okay. Uh, other than that. I don't think we need anything else. What do you think? Um, I was, the question one I was going to ask was the EE. Um, if they're on the Utopia Sprawls, um, they're most likely on the one drop that untaps the lands as well. Okay. EE would be able to hit those, and it would also allow us to hit a Blood Moon effect or any of their other creatures. So that was the other card that I thought may be worthwhile. Okay. I can see okay. that. Um, as far as what you're going to cut out, so we got five cards here that we're going to bring in. Mm-hmm. Um, probably like taking out, um, yeah, for sure. Amp. Wrath seems really solid against this kind of deck, especially with the Thrun. So, against creature decks that, well, tend to be creature decks, I usually like taking out the Mana Leaks. Okay. Um, and the counter, the counter magic in general. Okay, so are you talking about just so you can have leaks? more threat dense? Oh no, spell snare. Leave in the, leave in a cryptic. Leave in one cryptic. Take out the snare. Are you talking about like that? Yeah, it's okay. usually what I tend to do, um, just so that you have more uh, answers in hand that line up well on the board. Okay, so that's usually what these kind of because they're just come put, down they're, to. they're just so aggressive anyway. They're pushing out so much stuff that you you right. guys answer the board, you're good to go. Right. Okay. And then let's run it back. Uh, this seems pretty bad. I think we're gonna have to mulligan this hand. Okay. This hand's better. Okay. You're we don't have our one demand interaction, but we'll find it. Right. And we're on the draw. It will scry, so. So we'll go ahead and keep this. Opt is great. Okay, we'll keep that. Here we're going to want to lead on the Flooded Strand. Um, just in case we have to fetch a basic mountain or something with to play the Anger. So I would lead on Flooded Strand and plan on fetching up a Hollowed Fountain. A Hollowed Fountain? Okay. Under enter. So you're going to go f uh, Flooded Strand into a Hollowed Fountain. That's the idea? Yeah. Okay. Are we just passing it? Mm-hmm. Okay, doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything to that. We've got four mana, which is not good for us. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a... Oof, Oof Blood Braid. That value. Okay, well... Uh, we're we're going to want to fetch in response to that. Alright, you still want a Hollow Fountain, right? Uh, no. Don't want a Hollow Fountain now? No, because they might name Sacred or Scalding Tarn. And take us off of getting our second red for anger. So unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to get uh, sacred foundry here. A sacred foundry? Yeah. 
So then just the Sacred Foundry tapped then? Yeah, tapped. Okay. Because we want to make sure we can anger no matter what. And if they name Scalding Tarn, we're going to be in trouble. All right, so we're just planning on next turning searching then? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if we wanted to search or if we are digging for that source, so if we wanted to go for the opt. Yeah, see, that's their only name, and they don't know that we're on Nihiri, so. Bolt's a good draw. So with drawing the bolt here, would you prefer to opt and take them off? Because if we got them go back to their turn, they potentially have six mana here. Yeah, I like bolting the uh, Arbor Elf and taking care of that. Um... Bolting, right? Yeah, bolt right. in there. I don't think it's worth it to shock to opt here. Okay. You're good with just putting it into play tapped? Yeah, probably. Okay. Seems like the play. Preserve that life. Mm hmm Since they're showing a little bit of regression that we didn't see last game. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they kept the one lander and we blew them out. With it, so... <laughs> Ewit, back to Arbor Elf, or are they going to go for the land here? Land. Spyglass is interesting from them. What did they think we're on? Okay. So we can flood its strand here, get the other source, anger, wipe the board. Mm -hmm. um, if you think that's worth it. Otherwise, we can search for tomorrow, hold up opt. Um... See, there are four cards in hand. There are four cards in hand. We're at 13. If we don't anger here, we're going to go down to, what, eight? Because they're going to be crashing at us for five. Alternatively, we could snap bolt and block to deal with what they have on board. Okay. So we could run out the flooded strand here mm -hmm. and just hold up and see what they do. Yeah, I like that play better. Okay. You want to come over and join us for the stream? You're more than welcome, man. Um, I definitely think we should be grabbing a uh, basic planes off the flooded strand. Basic planes. So, yep. So that if they do have a blood moon, we we're not worried about a blue source then. Because why wouldn't we want to grab the basic uh, island? Um, because all of our answers for the blood moon are white. Okay. Nahiri answers it, and also we have wear tear and uh, celestial purge to answer it as well. Okay. Right. So, all right. And we have one white. One basic planes. Alternatively, we have three basic islands. Okay. So right now we're cracking this. Yep. I'm grabbing basic planes. Let's play around the blood moon. Planes, and then we're gonna go snap into bolt. Yep. And move to blocks. Block that blood braid off. And bolt to equip. I miss what happened. They, uh, they molten rained us. Okay. That's and, they mol great. and they molten rained us off of blue. blue. So we just basically have scalding time that we're going to pay and play and pass over now. Yeah. Hopefully we can find our work here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm just going to point out... Blue Swords. <laughs> it was definitely right to play around the Blood Moon though. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm looking at these cards in our hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got two Scalding cards we can't crack, and we've got a Planes. Lots of spells in our hand we cannot cast. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Mm. Mm. Warm and fuzzy right now. <laughs> mm. Now that, that's a problem. <laughs> if they blood moon right now, yeah, sure, we got two lands. Uh, 
Did you shut the garage? No. Okay. All right, man. The garage is open. <sighs> Come on over. And All right. <laughs> I think we should wrap this one up and go to the <laughs> Well, let's get some more information on them. Let's see what else they got going on. Because okay. we are dead for sure, and they can't impact us anymore. Um, and it should only take two turns here for them to kill us. Okay, so like that's that's relevant. They got a storm breath. And uh, yeah, that's that's worth the, I think the knowledge. So okay. um, let's let's go ahead and move on. All right. So seeing all that, um, no changes, right? You're good with where we're at right now, or because we're on the play now, do you want to bring back in the the mana yes. looks? I like bringing back in the counter magic, especially because now we know they're not just a red green uh, creature deck; they're a red green Ponza deck trying to blow up our lands. Okay, so two mana lakes. What do you want to um, bring in over them? Take out. Yeah. Um, probably the Gideon and the Cryptic are going to be very hard to cast. Okay, so we're going to take those out. And yep, that is fine. Just uh, shoot me a text when you're almost here, uh, but you should be able to get in just fine. Um, I don't have this deck in paper, but Blake does. This is the deck that he is playing for um, this upcoming tournament this week. All right, so this hand is basically a mold of six. Already. We have no red sources, no white sources. I think this is a pretty Mul easy mulligan. It's gone. This hand looks a lot better. We have our turn two mana leak for their mm -hmm. land D shenanigans. Okay. So we'll keep this. Yep. And then see what we get off the scry. We got a snapcaster. That is great. We will take a snapcaster. All right. Knowing that your snapcaster is on top here, what land do you want to lead off with? Um, Probably Hollow Fountain Tap because we, we want that snapcaster for our bolt. Okay. Yeah, I think the fortunate side of this uh, area is that, and with uh, our current group of friends, is that we do have a pretty extensive um, collection of cards that we're able to tap into, which is really nice. All right, so they got an Arbor Elf out there. Um, which is not too threatening because they don't have any uh, thing on their lands yet, so... You're good with just passing and holding up Leak? Yep, just okay. passing, holding up Leak. Probably playing our Scalding turn out. Is that worth countering right now? It would take them off this turn. It would. Um, because otherwise we have that ever-persistent threat of that extra mana. No, I think it's pretty important to leave it up, leave it up for their uh, land destruction spells. The leak? Yeah. We need our lands, and we can't afford to have them blowing them up. So here's the argument. Um, they're tapping out for this right now. I mean, they're they're and they're going to go in four mana. If we don't leak this right now, they're going to be casting what a spell, and we're going to be leaking that, right? That's true. Yeah. Because oh. what right now? What, 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 we could because right now what we're going to be able to do is our Ralph right now. We could bolt it, and then they just have and two mana. That way, we could still save our leak. Yeah. You want to do that? I think I like that play. Okay. And what are we fetching up with the scalding turn then? Uh, Steep Well, yeah, because we have to. And basic mountain wouldn't help us, so yeah, I'd definitely say steam vents. Steam vents? Yep. Okay. And bolt? Nope. That way, next turn we have access to snap, bolt, and mana leak. Oh. Gonna tap the other one. Mm hmm. And molten rain? Looks like it. Maybe it's just a Titleist Tracker. Oh, thanks. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> We're okay with the fans. Our lanes are still there. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Second snap nut. Okay. Um, pass? Yep. All right, now you're in they're about to swing us with the Finks here. Are you interested in doing anything in response? Uh, I think we just take the three for now. All right, we're taking the three. I know you are on four of us. Yes. I know. <laughs> that's the old list, though. I've updated it since then, because that should be... That's a thrun that we cannot do anything about. Ugh, so one thing we can't do. Yeah. 
That right. is unfortunate. All right, what are we fetching up here? Here, I think we're just getting the basic planes. Okay. And are we doing anything? Snap, bolt, um, um, or are we just passing? Yeah, I like snap bolting the uh, the things. Okay. Unfortunate. And we did not hit another land. So I guess we're just passing it back over. We sure are. How do you want to block at all? Like, do you want to hit the Finks? Do you want to just jump block the Thrun? Um... Yeah, I think we just have to uh, get the Finks off the table. Okay. That Thrun's going to be a problem. It sure is, especially with us not having the fourth land here. Um, yes, we will get rid of that. We really need to hit land off the top here. And yeah, we don't. All right, so that's us shipping it back. Yeah, we haven't landed there. We, we're definitely buying some time. We could snap, mana leak, and get it to do a chump locker. Um, but without it, we can't even, and we can't cast her in a here right now either, which is a big issue. So are we throwing snap out just to block? Or are you good with holding off another turn? They're down to two cards in hand? Down to two, uh, they're down to two cards in hand right now. I mean, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. Um, I think it's a three-turn clock right now. Mm -hmm. um, the, the big question is, if we draw a land here, right, mm -hmm. um, we're going to want to play the Nahiri, I imagine. Yes. And we're going to be upticking it, which then prevents us from preventing damage the following turn, which is going to leave Nahiri open. Mm -hmm. um, there may be an argument to running out Snapcaster and not blocking to protect the Nahiri the following turn if we hit that land. Okay. Um, Obviously, though, if we if we hit a wrath, it's not going to be relevant because we're not going to be able to cast it. Yep. And if we hit the land, um, we're going to be able to uh, snap use the other snapcaster to cast the mentally. So uh, the, I think your option right now is either to preserve your life and run out the snap, or to just hold it up and we're going to run it out anyway, um, and not block with it to just create another blocker in, uh, to have that blocker in case we do have the Nahiri. Okay. Yeah, I like the. Uh... I think just running one out to chump block is the play to not lose line instead of the play to win. Okay. So I definitely like the just taking the four now. Okay. So we'll take the um, four. But yeah, run out a snapcaster to protect the Nahiri because how we're going to win this game is ever cool. Absolutely. And yeah, we just have to hope. Sorry. So we're running this out here um, as a chump blocker for next turn, hoping that we're going to hit a land this turn to run out the Nahiri now. And we do. Okay. Nice. Yeah, let's get rid of this anger of the gods. It's not doing us any good right now. Hopefully we can find our wrath of God. And we do want to discard and get rid of that anger. Boom! We're so good at this game. All right. <laughs> so we're running past, running out there. Um, and we got the spell we needed. We have the mana to cast it as well here, which is really clutch. Um, they're going to swing at us. We'll block with the, our Snapcaster. Does Thorn have Trample? It is not. That's unfortunate. It just can't be countered. It's hexproof and regenerate. If, if Thorn had Trample, it'd be so good. Because I feel like the card's already pushed pretty hard right now. Where were they attacking? Just out of curiosity. They were attacking us. Hmm. Makes sense. Probably have one bolt in here, I'd imagine. Yeah. Now we have Mac Snap Leak up, just in case. You're not going to just Wrath? I mean, after that, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's clear the board. Um, Just Wrathing? Yeah, of course. Okay. Now, Nahiri, we can uptick it, get rid of Op Draw card. Yeah, I'd like to just get rid of Op Drawing card. Are we just running off the land? Um, or are you holding it? 
I think we should hold it at this point. Okay. So we're going to hold it. We'll pass it over. And we really need them not to have a haste creature or an inferno titan here. Um, and then we're going to be able to alt them and win the game. We really need to not draw the Emrakul next turn. That as well. That's, that's a really big deal. <laughs> they get a Utopia Sprawl, though, so that's good with us. Yes! Boom. All right. So we did everything we were supposed to. We didn't get hit with any damage, and then we've got an alt. So, all right. And this is the reason you play the uh, Nahiri combo in Jeskai. Okay. Because regular Jeskai would still be trying to find a way to win, whereas here, we win. Well, we don't win, but they're in I a mean, pretty bad spot. They're down to one land. I do believe so. They're down to one land, and we play ourselves as well. Because they're going to make us keep playing, or we don't play ourselves falls out. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? Play yourself. Falls. Oh, my bad. My bad. I I missed that. <laughs> All right. So run a snap out, or don't. Oh, you don't want to hold it up for the leak? You just want to kill them? Yeah. Okay. That's Generally, true. killing them is a good line. That's reasonable. <laughs> All right. Do you want to run up? Uh, obviously, I was supposed to play the sulfur falls last turn, but do you want to run it out now, or do you want to hold, uh, yeah, run up? Play the sulfur falls. Pass it back. Now we have the leak up. Alright. Granted, I'm not sure what they're uh, what they have in hand. I would imagine it has to be a bolt. So we're gonna go for the opt. I like the opt, yep. yep. Try to find a bolt. We're really good at this. Alright, let's try to kill him. Alright, that's okay. game. We did it, folks. Got the first match. 1 0. Best deck in lottery. Oh, good stuff. Hmm. Yeah, generally, uh, Pons is a very, very hard deck for control to beat. Oh, yeah. Um,. And as we saw with that last match there, that's one of the reasons we run the Nahiri combo, or I like running the Nahiri combo, okay. is it gives your control deck a combo finish, which in some matchups like that, you definitely need. Oh, as you're just sitting there floundering around, not finding anything while they kill you. That makes a lot of sense. It has that strong threat in here. Uh, so this hand's a little rough. We've got one land, a lot of two spells, got a couple three, yeah. uh, one three as well. Um, yeah, we're not keeping this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Keep it. Nope. Bottom that. <laughs> Let's uh, lead on a holophone. Or steam vents, sorry. Steam vents. No damage. Pass it over. Chat's pretty quiet. Uh, I mean, it, it comes and goes. Uh, we, we're increasing viewers right now. We were at uh, uh, four to six earlier, and now we're up to eleven. So as it's because I'm here. Well, I mean, and uh, George actually just left, and he's heading this way too. So, mm -hmm. um, well, your number one commenter is sitting right here. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, some people are definitely more active in the chat than others. Some people just like to watch. And that's um, fair. And no matter what, I always appreciate it. Oh, so yeah. if people just want to come and hang out with me and listen to my beautiful voice, you know, that's that's one of the options you guys have. S <laughs> Botanical Sanctum. They could be on Infect. They could be on a War Deck. I, would, I put money on a War Deck. They, got t they just tap for a green, or I put it on Spirits. Ooh. Or it's Amulet Titan. Amulet Titan. This path is going to be good. Maybe. All right. Delay Shell Pet run out or Holophon Shock ourselves? Uh, I like Holophon Tapped, actually. Holophon Tapped. Okay. I don't yeah. think there's any threat of a Titan next turn, so. Uh, I mean, they can, uh, like. You think they could? Can they? Because it starts off with this. <laughs> uh, no, if they Azusa, so we'll just bolt it. Yeah. So even if they had the threat of it, we would just take it out. So yeah, they uh, get one extra land drop here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They get. There we go. Now they can bolt it. I think uh, getting Snap bolting them is, as soon as possible as so we can start pressuring them as a key here. Okay. 
Especially with that second path. So I think we just play the Glacial Fortress and pass it back. Oh, yeah, man. I really appreciate you just tuning in and checking it out. Um, yeah, like I said, regardless of whether or not people are chatting or not, I just appreciate you guys being on here, checking things out. If you guys do have any comment, feedback, thoughts, just always let me know. I'm always happy to take in whatever I can from you guys to improve. So they're getting up towards the prime time man uh mana. Do you have any interest in snap bolting here with because we have double path in hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Well let's wait till end step. smash them. Oh, yeah. And what land do you want to fetch up with this turn? Uh, we have triple blue. Mm -hmm. We um, do. Let's probably get an Aaron Mesa here. Not an Aaron Mesa. The one that one gets. <laughs> <laughs> A Sacred Foundry? There you go. Hey, I was on the right colors. <laughs> <laughs> sure, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, crash with the snap. You want to run out the search here? There's yeah, really run out the search, and I would hold on to that uh, hollow fountain for now. Okay. Um, just so we have something to plus away with our Nahiri if we ever draw one. Gotcha. And we'll make sure to tap properly, leave up the white sources, and hold up the red because we're cool. Around what block did uh, we start playing? Um, I started back in uh, 10th edition slash Time Spiral is when I first started playing. Uh, at that time, I was doing a lot of kitchen table magic with my friends um, and just figuring it out from there. We, you know, obviously we were figuring out how the rules work, so uh, I didn't actually join a... So here we wait and see what lands they grab because um, we don't want them to know we have a path. Okay. So and so they might not get their uh, their combo. Their okay. combo to get. And them we could force them into it, so we'll let them grab that. Yep. Um, so yeah, and I didn't actually start um, trying to go even go to like F and M's until um, Lorwyn came out. So it was quite some time later, and then after that, I didn't start actually trying to pursue any kind of tournaments until when was Zendikar era. No, a little bit before then, I started actually trying to go to like uh, events uh, and actually started trying to compete when it was right after fairies dominated the format, the blue black fairies. So, what about you? When did you start playing Magic? Um, I'm a relative newcomer. I uh, started playing casually around BFZ. Um, here. Yes. Yep. Um, and then. I got into F and M's probably a little bit after Shadows, um, and then competitively, me and Andrew started going about two years ago. Now we've been starting to grind. Okay, so you guys actually didn't really start playing until we actually met, like very, very yeah, briefly yeah. before then. You guys even did any events. Yeah, that's interesting. Yep. Do we have a Vault of the Archangel? Like, do you mean in paper? Or do you mean um, in this deck? That's interesting that they uh, they packed for the prime time right now. I guess they just wanted to get it out of the way when we have no mana yeah, to counter it. And they, but they're going to have to pay mana for it, so... Mm -hmm. What do we got? Colonnade on top. Uh, we'll bend that. Put it here, I guess. And we've got an op. One opt. Um, See what yeah, we can let's find. opt right now. All right. Um, I'm trying to think if mana matters here at all. We've got another half on in hand, so I'm guessing we can yeah. just tap to this uh, glacial fortress. Yeah. I'll pop that one. 
I need a Nahiri pretty bad. Okay. Alright, I like, uh, I like playing the Flooded Strand here. Okay. And flooded Strand. Smash and face. Just to get that extra card count to go the search. So you started during the Tempest block and didn't get serious until like Mirrodin. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Like I know a lot of the people that play Magic right now have played it for a good amount of time and like so one of my close friends, um, Kyle, he plays Magic much earlier than I did. And like I think the experience you get from Magic and the way that the format has shaped over time, whether it's standard or any of the eternal formats, um, shows up really well with the players and like the way they approach deck building and the way they approach their sideboarding tactics um I th and that experience really shows through snapcaster might also be a good draw here all right so they got another prime time yep Just want them to mean. fetch up again yep all right um i think i have a vault in paper i'm Pretty sure, anyway. I sold most of my collections. So pretty much all I have is blue, white, and just guy deck. Okay, so they're gonna untap here. Uh, do we have interest in letting them burn up the mana um, for their Slayer Stronghold? Um, what are they trying to do? They bajuk. They're gonna bajuka bog us, and then they Vesuva and copy the Boros Garrison. Um, so they'll exile our graveyard. We can't do much about that, mm -hmm. um, which is fine or whatever. Um, but then they have the option to Slayer Stronghold oh, well, their prime time. Saying. I feel like that's the best line to cut them off any uh, potential mana they could use yeah. that for. Yeah, anyway. that's fine. We just can't afford to let them attack. Oh yeah, for sure. We're not. They're not attacking. We're just never going to have things in the graveyard. That's fine. At least we get the uh, filter All right. effect. Yep. Alright, so two prime times down. I think we can fetch up a steam vents here. Yeah. Obviously, no, we need to fetch a basic. I don't know, man. What if they, like, just surprise us with a... With a blood move. <laughs> <laughs> right, you want a steam fence, you said? Yeah. Yep. Island to the grave. Man. Yeah. And another <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> our top, a top of our deck has been real bad. All right. Do you have any interest in running out the land? Yeah. Now we have a second backup search that we can bin, so... Let's uh, hit them in the face. All right, we really need them to have nothing this turn. If they have anything, we're just dead. If they have a, seven cards in hand. If they have a prime time, we're just dead. <laughs> and I'm feeling like it's prime time right now. Wow, all the prime time. <laughs> That's a prime time. Okay, I'm so, honestly surprised they did not play Bajuka Bog first, just in case our card was Snapcaster Range. That's that it's is kind true. of a misplay on their part. But yeah. They're not going to get punished for it. Right. And um, they have lethal on board as long as they sequence things properly. Oh, what? Okay, There's so they wanted to fetch up the land later. So what are they going to do? Teleria for their counterspell right now, it looks like. so. And so then they'll just get packed here, and then we can't do anything. This is that inevitable position that uh, Amulet Titan Did they always... grab it? Hmm? Yeah, they grabbed Pack. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they'll swing here, they'll get the double strike land, and then we're dead. Oh, wait. We'll be at two. We'll be at two. With them having a Pact in hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anything we draw is going to get countered. With, with our draws, it's probably going to be another land. We're good at that, though. That's what you want out of a deck like this, right? Just draw, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. An opt. Put that in the graveyard. Sure. 
We got an anger. So we're going to go ahead and concede here. Yo. Oh, wait. I want to swing it down. Okay. We'll Let's send a message. Let's see what happens. They block. What if we had Flame Slash upon it? Alright, now we get to anger. You, I don't I don't even want to show them anger. Well, we're going to side angers out, so it doesn't oh, matter. Then that's fine. <laughs> uh, so we're going to hit them with this anger, make them think about it, and then concede. <laughs> <laughs> we got nothing there, folks. We got nothing oh. there. Alright, so in this matchup, what do you want to bring in? Uh... All of our counter magic seems really good there. Okay, so we're bringing in the Dispel, the Negates. Yep. Here. Our Dampening Spheres also seem very good. Solid. Bring those in. Um, we can bring in our Verdict. Our Verdict and our Wrath, or not the Wrath, because it can get countered. Uh, not the, yeah, for that reason, yep. Okay. Um, and probably our Clicks, too. Okay. You can bring both of those in. We have a lot of pretty bad cards against them. You know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I like taking out the uh, angers and the helixes here. All right. Here's that leave us at. Uh, that we need two more cards. Two to more take cards. Out. Um. Spell. We're on the play. Yeah, we'll take out spell Yep. And we can probably trim a bolt as well. Okay. So that's what you're thinking here. Taking out the Angers, the Helixes, one Snare, and the Bolt, and we're bringing in the Dispel, two Negates, two Spheres, a Verdict, and two Clicks. Yeah. You know, already. Seems pretty solid. Yeah, a card that I always think about bringing in, depending on how you approach this matchup, is the, um, the Engineer Explosives and the Wear and Tear. Um, myself, because I sometimes want to hit that um, Amulet. Mm -hmm. And then that leaves me with the option to hit it early on. So, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I don't play this deck as much as you. I don't play. I've not played against Amulet Titan hardly at all. Okay. Um. So we got a slower hand here, but we've got some card draw and we've got a little bit of interaction. Yeah. But we're not doing anything significant till turn four. Is this worth keeping to you? Um. I'd probably keep this hand. Okay. They mill down to six here, then five. All right, you want to just go flooded pass? Yep. Plan on fetching up the uh, steam vents to opt on their end step. Okay. What is that? Um, that is a land that when it comes into play, they get to add a mana of any color. Why do they play that? Um, so it can tap for mana. It does. It taps for colorless mana. Oh, so they get two mana off of it when, it, it when they have an amulet. Yeah. Makes sense. Steam vents. Shock ourselves. Play the opt. We got a path on top. Oh, you want to keep a path here. And then let's go to our turn. And we drew a snap, so you want just hollow fountain pass? Yep. And not shocking, correct? Yes. Not shocking. Logic Knot's pretty good. Pretty good draw. Really hoping to get another land, so I think on their end step we might snap opt. Okay. If we don't have anything if to we don't have to like turn. Logic Knot or anything. Right. Uh, I think that's worth countering. Okay. And not even hitting our graveyard, right? Because we don't need to. Nope, we don't need to. Get countered, opponent. Land. Yeah, we're so good at this game. Okay, so do you just rush out the Nahiri here, or how do you want to approach um, that? Yeah, I think getting Nahiri down as soon as possible is definitely worth it. Okay, um, do you want to get the triple blue here? Can we pull up our deck real quick? Yep, I have it right here. Like, what's in our main deck, though? Oh, what's in our main deck right here? Um... Just looking at color wise, we took out the angers, and so the only thing we have we, we have double white. So I think just grabbing a basic island here is fine. 
Just the basic island's good with that? Yep. Okay. And our only red spells are three bolts, I think. Yeah. In our deck, so the only yeah. thing that's left in there are the bolts and the Nahiris. Yep. So just basic island here is fine. And just running out Nahiri? Yep. And I think we can get rid of them. Mm. I actually like keeping our hand. It's okay. So we're just ticking up and passing. Yeah. Yep. Just ticking up, not discarding. Right, as long as we can come back to our turn, we're in a really strong spot here with that cryptic we can hold up. Um, if they just have a tracker, that's absolutely fine. We're going to be able to bolt that if we need to. So. Mm -hmm. mm, didn't draw the land, which is a little unfortunate. Well, we can opt that, get that hand laid out of our hand with the Nahiri. Nahiri away. Or uh, the opt, I'm sorry. Nahiri away the opt? Yeah. Okay. And hit the is. land. Okay. So now we can bolt it and hold up cryptic. Yep. This game should be over, folks. Stir uh, I think that's fine. And they grabbed an amulet with that. Um, what do you think? We could, I mean, they get one land drop. Yeah, I think just letting the amulet resolve is fine. Okay. Because the worst they could do is like. That's also fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, so they're just. Dead. Well, I mean, they're at five. You never know. They might want to play it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely, you know, continued on. Okay, so we're on the draw now. Um, mm -hmm. Does that change your sideboarding plan at all? Um. Hmm. Sometimes it does, but here I think you're good to keep it as is. I think we're good to keep it as is. Okay. Um. Are you interested in bringing in the wear and tear over, like, the Gideon here? That seems fine. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm just thinking fine. about being able to react to them right away. Taking out that amulet on turn one seems mm -hmm. pretty strong. The only thing with Gideon mm -hmm. um, is if we have him and his emblem out, they have to kill him and us. Okay. So they can't just kill us in one swing. That's the only thing I... Okay, is that not worth it then? No, I think what I think bringing the weird turn is fine. Okay. And it sounds like George is here with us. Okay, I think this hand is good enough to keep. We have the wear tear and we have the dampening sphere. Both are very good against them. We have double op to find a second land. Uh huh. Um, and we are in the draw. Okay. Now that is a sulfur falls. That means we're not. It is. Okay. It is. But. I think we're still fine to keep. Okay, so we'll go ahead and keep this. Hey, George, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you want to have a closer seat, I would recommend grabbing a chair from downstairs. Oh, that's all good, I have glasses. Okay. <laughs> um, what I'll do, give me one sec, folks. I am just wanting to make this a duplicate screen, so I'm going to mess with the display real quick. Oh, I haven't seen anything in right here. Sounds good. And George is going to tell me about how all my plays are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gosh. Usually. It's so it's so hard not to. I mean, mm. Okay. All right, so like, we are back. I think uh, the vi should have cleaned up what we were looking at. I'm getting a black screen, though. Uh-oh. You just put it back in what it was. It's not a deal. Calm yourself. <laughs> Stream technicality difficulties, or whatever you want. And now we're playing over here. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. Afraid I'd return some cards to Dewey while I'm at it. Hey, I did the same thing. I brought back yeah. his deck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, and I've had for like two weeks. That's from, what? That's from what? Regionals, which is. Okay. 
Two weeks, yeah. Cool. Okay. Maybe three. We restored it. We draw an island, so that's oh. pretty sweet. So isla- island pass. Island pass. Yeah. Got him. The most powerful play in modern. I mean, now most powerful, powerful come in play ever. I would never lead you astray with keeping these bands. You lead me astray all the time. <laughs> Dispel. Uh, what yeah. are we playing against? Amulet. Oh. Wait, really? Just See, we just draw the lanes anyway, so it's so we just hurt. Turn this land into a waste. <laughs> yes, okay. turn this land into a waste. <laughs> nice wastes opponent. Can't right. even tap her colored mana. So Damping Sphere does turn their <laughs> any of their dual lands into just a waste, which is pretty sweet. Uh, shock ourselves pass? Correct. Yeah, sure. Let's snap up, get some oh. pressure on. We have all the other answers in our hand we could want, so... It's crazy. Alright, so you want to snap opt here? I, yeah. We can't. We cannot. <laughs> okay, so I think we should just opt. <laughs> This uh, is I think awkward. that's fine to put on the bottom. This is the awkward part where they cast like nature's claim and we can't negate back. We would dispel it though. We were good. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, George. <laughs> Got the bases covered. Uh huh. Was not an issue. Yes, glasses confirmed to see farther. Unless you're me, then they only help you see closer and a little bit mid range. Because <laughs> I have really bad eyes, folks. And yeah, Emrakul's definitely a fair and balanced card. I mean. 15, it costs, 15. Yeah, 15 mana. It's the second most expensive spell in the game. Well, actually, well, no, third. No, most. third. There's a uh, Auto Thon Worm is 16 as well as Draco. Oh, well, there's that one from the Unset that's like a million mana. Oh, that doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. All right, we drew a Nahiri. Um, um, do you want to just run that out? Yeah. Yep. We could have snapped off that time. We could we have. Could've. You are correct, sir. I'm also enjoying what the... Uh, they have... Oh, oh my lord. Well, we, were, we were negated. <laughs> only <laughs> only justice can happen since we're playing Damping Sphere and Snapcast from the same deck. So <laughs> You're saying that's not reasonable? That, um, you know, I'm not going to say it's... Oh, no, it's uh, an Azusa. Not reasonable. Okay, so they have a basic waste that bounces the hand back to laying back to the hand. Yeah, seems good. I bet we're still gonna lose this game. <laughs> <laughs> have some faith, we have man. Three snapcasters in hand. We sure do. So, jeez. Okay, so do you just want to? So we have the option of pathing here. Um, I don't really think it's even that worth it to take out an Azusa. Um, they he don't have that much oh, thing. Wait, did he not play any extra lands? Uh, I think he just used it to ramp, actually. No, he didn't even play the. Yeah, he bounced. He? Yeah, he bounced a gemstone. Oh, okay. Yeah, he returned. He had to use the gemstone to yeah, negate. He, he well, returned gemstone to play gemstone. He had gemstone. another land play, so he didn't play a land. Yeah. So the Azusa really doesn't do anything. Anymore. Right. That's why I'm thinking we just pass here. Yeah. Yep. And then we can make our six snap two mana opt play. Right. Or <laughs> pass the prime time. <laughs> Coalition relic. Yep. Oh, uh, we have a wear tear for that. Okay. Maybe he'll play an enchantment too. You <laughs> really get him. So Blood saying, Moonos, bro. Bet you won't. <laughs> <laughs> if an amulet titan opponent Blood Moon anyone at any point in time, they deserve a goal. Okay, now goal. we can snap opt. Snap opt? Yes. Okay. I clicked the right lane one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't know if... Uh, that's a lay on top. Uh, yeah. Might as well. Yeah. We have to play around our own damn things here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously we've got the faster clock here. Yeah. Now we can mana leak their prime time. So good. So they're missing a their prime time. Correct. Don't they have a coalition. Well, they do, this? but we're going to blow it up. Oh. Right now? Yeah. I guess that's fair. Just, you know, tear it. Got 
Got him. We made them do that extra click. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted your perfect fits, right? So do we? Oh uh, yeah, sure. There. Oh, I know you. I mean, the perfect fits. Ah, uh, dude, you can keep those. I don't care. It's your world, man. Because like unsleeving everything is gonna be a huge headache. <laughs> so you're good. Okay. No, you're good. I've got a stack of them for a reason. All right. All right. They've got a summoner's pact, which we can dispel. And just cracking here. What land would you want to get? Do we have Holophone. any land destruction? Can we possibly blow up? Definitely two of their want any sources to get them to just lose immediately. Uh, that's how we that's would how need double cryptic, and we have damping throughout. So that's nine mana. You want a hollow fountain tap? Yes. So you're saying there's a chance? I'm saying we have a field room. <laughs> 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 So oh. if we had cryptic, we could punish them. Okay, so we're just passing here. Um, they're gonna pact on their turn. They cannot play prime time. Oh, and bouncing that gemstone cavern was so good for them, because then they, you know, they'd have to. Are we swinging? All right. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, trade your two mana guy for the three mana guy. That's just clear value. <laughs> Is that how we determine value in magic? Yeah. I'm not, I've been out of touch, if man. If this was a draft game, that would you'd just be like, yes, please. Uh, <laughs> did we just negate this? Or no? They I, haven't been doing... Eh. Yeah, like, well, what does that card do? It finds them a land? It finds them a land or amulet, which is both, I guess, fine. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. we should probably just, like, save and negate for whatever... Actual random. spells? Yeah. yeah. They got a Vesuva. <gasps> Do they want to copy our Field of Ruin? That'd be rude. <laughs> <laughs> they copied our Halophone. Oh, they wanted their blue mana. Okay. Um, are we doing anything this turn? We could snap Opt again. Put another uh, threat on board. We have board. another snap, so yeah, that's fine. Okay. We need Do you pressure. want a Field of Ruin beforehand, or hold up the Field of Ruin for the utility lands? Uh, I definitely think we should hold up the Field of Ruin. So we'll... Snap here. Snap will target our opt. And we'll overpay for this opt. Scalding to the bottom. Yep. And we've got a bolt. And a steam vents. Yep. You want to tap steam vents? Yep. And we're just crashing. Yep. Gotta kill him somehow. Really? Generally, that is the rule to go by. Do, I mean, we did confirm that there are enough lands to cast Emrakul on this deck. Just true. barely. <laughs> but yes. I think we have 16. And that's if we, that's with the Field of Ruins. Mm -hmm. So we have to only use one of the Field of Ruins. Is this a prime time that we're going to mana leak? Uh, I believe it is. Oh, oh man. Oh, boy. Mana leaking prime time. Take me back to the days <laughs> of standard with blue white versus green red battle cut. Tulare West would be a good target to hit with that field ruin. You want to do it right now? I think so. That's a good target. Okay. Wait, really? Like, I didn't think it was a good target. It's already in play, and they have to hit a bounce land to get value out of it, and at that point, we can hit it with field. Okay. And we draw into here. That's a pretty good draw. It's uh, referred to as decent. Um, you got you got to do red. Yeah. She has red and white. Um, I think we can loot away the bolt. What? Loot away the bolt. How loot else are we gonna win? Thing. The snapcaster is gonna put him under fifteen. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Hold the scalding turn to pitch. Yeah. Well. If we do run out the Scalding Tarn, um, I don't think we get, like, the only thing we can snap back is Bolt, so holding yeah, up this to this... allows us to have Negate and Dispel up. That's a very good point. I think we do want to run out the land. Mm, okay. We'll, we'll draw another card next turn and... If we need to send that away. We can always just, like, pitch Path or Dispel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get rid of those gemstones. I mean, we don't have to pitch anything, too, so... Get rid of those gemstones. Do it. 
Or think. That's fine, too. You can think. All right, time to go into the tank for ten minutes. Oh, I mean, we're kind of, like, cheating, right? We have, It's three against one right now. <laughs> well, you got to count whoever this else This seems is like a jack. good target to counter if we Div can. Hive mind. We can counter, counter. that. Yeah, that. That seems like a negate target. <laughs> and he's going to dispel back. Oh, okay. <gasps> Yay. Man, I want the land play to be relevant there. So I can feel like an absolute god. <laughs> uh, I'll phone. Sure. Alright, now we can get rid of that one. And we draw them up. Okay, so I just pass and beat them up. Oh yeah. Let me let me flash the stream this like thousand dollars of magic cards right here. Just mm, beautiful. Can they even see that right now? Can they? We'll see. Uh, we'll let's see. see. Yeah, oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, that yeah. is beautiful, gorgeous. They can't really tell what they are. <laughs> One thousand dollars. Is that really? One thousand dollars? Well, the playset of Scalding Tarns is like six hundred. Surgicals really? are like 70, 80 a piece. So that's like 300 ish. And then Blood Moons and these two police <laughs> outfits. Well, that's a prime time. We yeah, we're going to snap mana like that. Snaply. <sighs> Good thing that guy didn't try to cast that last turn. Uh, I got to make sure I'm clicking the right one. And we even have to spell back up. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. wins the match. He was Concede. done. That is a, that's how strong Snapcasters. You cast it, and your opponent just concedes the game. That's why it's an expensive card. That's true. I think it's expensive because Magic players just like playing things at instant speed. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we saw the red version get printed, and no one even cares about that. Well, that one had, it doesn't have flash. <laughs> exactly. exactly. If that had flash, oh boy. It has the wrong S keyword on it as first strike. Who needs that keyword? <laughs> well, what, what kind of silly, silly okay, goose goes, goes into Darth combat? Kid. Okay. This hand seems abysmal. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and ship the hand away. This hand is even more abysmal. I don't know, man. I feel like this hand's slightly better than the other one. <laughs> I mean, we're still shipping it. Oh, yeah. What? No, snap keep. <laughs> Just because you have a snap doesn't mean you snap keep. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how this works. No. I've been led astray. Well, if you just draw lands... If we just go land into land into land. Yeah, easy. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> so we this actually is... just keep this, right? Yep, we keep this. This is literally just everything I've ever oh wanted. Oh, we're gonna scry. Oh, we're gonna put that on the bottom. No, pop. We have to cast this guy somehow. No. <laughs> I'm so done with you people. <laughs> so why did you play the scalding turn? Because I just sent a land to the bottom. I don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Statistically irrelevant. It's statistic like. Your play, I want to point out, is doing the statistically irrelevant thing because you're pulling a land from the deck. I didn't say we were going to crack it. <laughs> then what's the point of playing it? You no, know, Blake's right. He did just bobble us, and now he has information. We could have cracked and gotten rid of that information. He See, knows, you didn't play around bobble doing. He knows a card in our hand. Oh, God. He's, he's going to say this. He's going to say like, I win. <laughs> He doesn't know where I just guy. He doesn't know where I hear you. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh no, oh no. Did I cons did I stop it in time? I did. Oh my god. Did uh, we... you almost f six your own turn? Yeah, I've done that. Okay. I like playing the steam vents here. Steam vents untapped. <laughs> no. What if we have to bluff a counter spell? He knows. <laughs> He but knows we the just card that drew. we just drew. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> See, we could have bluffed a counter spell if we would have ran Blake play. Yes. I mean, I don't think we would have bluffed it, though. <laughs> See, this is why I play this deck and you don't. I asked you if you want to control it. <laughs> that's a, that's, that oh. is a turn two Death Shadow. Yep. Must be nice. Don't worry, we're going to draw Bolt and punish them. Cause they, nope, we're not. Oh. That card's pretty bad. Oh man, that would have been so good if we got to anger a death shadow. Yep. Scalding turn pass? Yeah, might as well. This isn't looking hot, by the way. <laughs> well, if we draw Bolt next turn, so we can like 
fetch a uh, red white land, draw bolt. No, we can't no. show them. We, we can't show them they have white. They still don't know we have white. Well, I was just saying, if we draw bolt, we could be on blue moon right now. They, plus it could force them to play around blood moon next turn, next game. George was just telling you that, like, okay, so you don't even want to crack the fetch right now, then? No. Okay. I mean, to be fair, yeah, like we're probably just dead. Straight. So. Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, they're taking it. <laughs> oh, no. He's shuffling anger back into our deck so he can draw it again. That monster. <laughs> he sees the line. The statistical variance odds. This this is... Uh... Okay. <laughs> can Play we can... it island pass. <laughs> can we concede? <laughs> oh, my God. I think, I think you concede to a, another discard spell so he doesn't see the flooded strand. Nope, we don't. Dis nope, that's fine. We, we let him have his fun, okay, right? Like, we, we get hit to five, and we take some damage. Oh, my gosh. Can I put at least If a we draw a coffin? Snapcaster and they don't lose any life, they don't crack the fetch, we're not dead. Yeah, play an island. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> we have to draw path though. <laughs> but then we reveal that we're white for whatever advantage that. Oh, well, you know, we'll be at one, so we're just dead. <laughs> yeah, we're just dead. Can I just like put the nail in the coffin that we are on this by just fetch shocking a red source? Do it, do it. No, just fetch up a. Mountain. I mean, fetch up a mountain. Fetch up a mountain. We don't have a red source. A red oh, source. Yeah. We are in both steam vents in play. Nope. Grab that mountain. Don't miss. Okay, we didn't miss. Quick concealed information. Okay. And run uh, out of snap to block. <laughs> <laughs> no, just die. I'm just gonna die. Okay. Take a lethal. Proceed to damage. But you didn't have to do that, sir. We were already dead. <laughs> Fell for it. You got the basic. <laughs> you got the basic. Okay. Uh, what is your preferred? Uh, Method here, if I um, clicks seem great. Rest in peace seems great. Clicks, uh, rest in peace. Celestial seems... purge seems great. Supreme verdict seems great. And probably Wait, the wrath. Where's the celestial purge? Oh, there. Okay. There's only one rest in peace. What? Uh, it's supposed it was... to be a surgical. So there's technically zero. Yeah. He doesn't believe in rest in peace, man. Surgical is just better when you have four snaps. So. Uh, anger seems pretty god awful, so I think we can take that out. Oh my gosh, really? Spell snare also seems pretty bad. What um, about their battle rage? It, it can kill us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. Um, I like taking out the logic knot here. Wait, did we pour it out to spell? We never had it in our. Main it's deck. in the side. Oh. That card seems really good against stubborn denial. <laughs> you want out? You don't want the logic knot? You saw what you said? No. Whenever I bring in rest in peace, I tend to board out logic knot. Okay. Um, Gideon is very good against them, by the way. Nahiri seems not that good against them. Uh, that's how we win, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we can actually just bolt and snap them. Yeah. Um, like debatably, we should just be I cutting the combo. Right there, because they're gonna be ripping our hand apart anyway. That's fair. That's fair. And then bring all of this in, and we still have three room. more. Um, is it, I mean, like timely is not irrelevant here. Timely? You timely? think our life is ever gonna be lower than theirs? I was thinking about for the creatures. Oh, we've got uh, one minute here. Uh, e e hits death shadow. Honestly, yeah. Logic Knot seems like it's okay. Yeah, with well, that, I, you know, definitely bring Logic Knot and Two cards. EE in a surgical. What? No, don't. No, we're not bringing a bring surgical. In a, bring in, like. I'd rather bring in Negate or Timely. Yeah. Go with Negate. But if we surgical something, oh my god! I, I am not going to listen to we can surgical has, something in their deck. Yeah, and it's, his deck does have magic cards, Blake. It's true. Um, well, this is 
unfortunate. This is, this is fine. This is fine. I mean, I'm not going to run into last game again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to go, like, colonnade here, and then they're going to Inquisition away, or Thoughtseize away, or Logic Knot. <laughs> then we are. That's the other thing. Like, when you're against a Thoughtseize or Inquisition deck, it's generally... If you have a well, functional 7, you should usually keep. Yeah. That's right. They're like, oh my gosh, they have white! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we gave away the secret! Do it, what were we thinking? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a thought season. We boarded in a oh, just it's guy. an Inquisition. Yikes. Can we pay mana so they can't take the logic knot? Dang it. No. <laughs> oh, got him. Alright, uh, just flooded Strand Pass. Yep. Alright, we need them to just destroy their own life total. And then we might have a shot at winning. I want them to be like street wraith, street wraith, street wraith, street wraith. Street wraith. <laughs> Fed shock thought sees the shell. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the thought sees. Well, that's uh, unfortunate for us. <laughs> I don't think we, like, you don't run out the feet, uh, helix. That's just going to help no. our game plan. And I don't think we want to run out the snap either. No, because then they just take her helix. I mean, they can take the helix either way. I know. <laughs> but it's like, what's the point of running out the snap? It's the same thing. We don't want to put them lower than we have to right now. Like, the only thing that I would I would cast on a discard spell is, like, a negate or a spell pierce or something. Yep. Like, if you can counter it, great. If you can't, just let it happen. Because sometimes your opponent decides that they don't want to take the correct card and then lose. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you want here? Steam vents yep. or it's a leak. Got that em. card that card's gonna be real good. Okay. They're going to try to put a Gurmag into play with them. We're gonna, gonna them. get to go mana leak, snapcaster mana leak. Oh, so good. I don't know how they win at this point. It's true. They can't even stubborn denial back. If they have the main open. Oh, oh my lord, we counted that. Yeah, we there. do. <laughs> our opponent's so rude. Why are they just taking all of our cards? The extra cool part about this is he doesn't get to lose the two life off that anymore. It's a true statement, but he can still play Dutch Alistair. If he does, we fist pump. We fist pump? Yeah. We get to Snapcaster Helix. It's going to be a 3 3. Mm. Yeah, but he has a Street Wraith in hand. I mean, you're probably correct, but... They do love that play. Or he could just uh, stuff stub and ruin our day. <laughs> um, you want a Hollow Fountain here? Or uh, do you want a Sacred Foundry? Yeah, Hollow Fountain's fine. Or we just have a Helix. Right, I think just Helixing is fine. Yeah. Do we want to wait till the end of turn? Um, or their upkeep? No, because then they'll have more mana open. Well, I'm thinking end of, end of, like... So there's, like, the... Obviously, there's a risk, but if we go end of turn, they could, like, Thought Scour and we get to shoot it. I guess. But, okay, we just do it now. We, we can pay for the stub. Yeah, just do it now. Yeah, they're good in Street Just didn't have Street Wraith. Steam Bait tap. I mean, Victory. Steam Bait tapped, and we'll pass it. Yep. Oh, this boy. This going to give it to him. Although, eh, that might have been... Awful. Debatably, it was better to play the planes and oh, you run yeah, off the snap with them being at 10. Yeah. Because now they're going to snap, snap caster. Take our snap caster. Okay. Yep. 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 Noah. Uh, yep. As we the, talk the through old, it. The old two seconds too slow on <laughs> yeah. mentioning things. They didn't want a Thossies there? They didn't want to make their shadows into too bigger? Ooh, up so good. Yeah, we don't need that. Ha, got him. Got this lightning here. Yeah, I'd play lands out at this point because we want Colony to be active. Do we just want to hit... They're a Snapcaster, or is it not even worth it? Uh, it's not even worth it at this point. That Helix also gains us back life. Yeah, we're, we're at 21. The, a 2-1 isn't really scary. I don't know, man. It's an 11 turn clock. Are they going to call against command us? 
What's Let's... their best play? Give back Shadow, make us discard. Yep. In response, we killed her snap. Yep. Yeah, we don't definitely don't want to helix them because right. well, you know they're doing two damage. Oh, they're damaging themselves and getting shit. Oh, yes. they're making shadow a five five. Right, okay. right. That's cute. I like this. Let's so go. we can't do anything about that. Um, hmm. If one card, we want to helix or snap. I think now is the time to do it. Because um, otherwise, I think otherwise, holding up snap or holding up helix to try and kill them is the best play right now. It feels like with the sequencing, that's a stubborn in their hand. I mean, probably. I I mean, we're not beating a stubborn denial anyways, right? Like, well, no, I'm just saying if we do it right now, we can hit the snapcaster if that's relevant. Yeah, but the snapcaster I still don't feel isn't like, relevant. Yeah, yeah like I think, you know, I think the upside to holding it's better. Okay. Because, like, a 2-1 hitting us is, like, whatever. Like, we we want to be able to kill them or the Death Shadow. No, if we my, draw my land, we have is that right now, now, this is a three-turn clock. Uh, if we removed the snapped, we would have gone to a four-turn clock. So. Yeah. Because it's a 5-5? Five, 5-5 five? Five, five and a 2-1. Yeah, but 21. we can, we so. have the Helix. Like, if we, we draw can... a land, we put them on a two-turn clock. Okay. So. Yeah, if we... I'd rather hold on attacking with Colonnade, yeah. And if we get to Snap... Uh, yeah, it, do, it doesn't change the clock if we're hitting him. Uh, but, I mean, it is making that uh, Shadow a 9. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Also... Like, if we can... The Lightning Helix can also bait out the Stubborn Denial so we can path his shadow. Okay. Okay, just opting here. Yep. That's a great draw. Kinda. I mean, it's it's relevant for sure, but we're in an interesting spot here. Um, because helixing them, they're not going to stop this. Um. Yeah, it's quite obvious it's a stub in hand. So I think, or at just, least I'm bluffing it. So we just pass here. Yeah. And uh, if we're really good, they'll just uh, it's actually a thoughts hour in hand, but it's not. That pass went pretty fast. Just taking the hit? What do you think, George? I don't know, I, I kind of like... Trying to go for the Helix to see if they'll take it. Helix weird. Yeah, that's the question. Like, we don't really like. If it hits, if it goes after them, they just let it resolve. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it goes after Snap, there's a good chance they just let it go anyway. Mm-hmm. But it's maybe we helix at, like, we take the hit and then at our at their end step we helix them. Mm -hmm. And then that that sort of like, um. We lose a turn as far as the clock goes if we do it that way. It does bluff and make it seem more like we have, like we drew another bolt effect or some such, and that we can, like, that we're going to helix them on instep, and then we can uh, bolt so them, just land, and if we hit land, colony kill them. Okay. Like, so. it, it, like, if you want to try to force some sort of action from getting the stubborn denial out of the hand, sorry, Celestial Purge can kill the shadow. Mm hmm. Uh, Imp was saying that he would have preferred if we went for the purge and then just passing, because even if he goes for the um, the denial, then we're okay. I mean, we have to get it out of their hand at some point anyway. So, so yeah, it's not there's definitely merit to that. Yeah, it's not unreasonable. We could just go for the helix right now, see if they take it, and then follow it up with the purge. Yeah. 
Sure. No. And we're helixing them? That's kind of risky. No, if they were at seven, I'd say yes, but right. I think just getting rid of the Snapcaster is fine. Sure. Because it takes put it still pits to a three turn clock now. And then go for the purge? Yeah. Still. I mean we have to get out of their hand at some point anyway, right. so there we go. But, yep. Yeah. Have a land. If they were a pro and drew a snapcaster, it's gonna be like yes. yeah. okay. We're so good at this. Alright, now we need to draw land so we can two turn them. Yeah. And they don't play a death shadow opponent. Yes. Click. Well, okay. Click on their draw step. Yeah. They, you know, because they don't have a threat now. So. Um, I think that's fine. We don't care about any of that, right? Nope. Yeah, kind of sucks that we leave them with the Serum Vision. Oh, but. take it. Okay, so they have Serum Vision's Sardinal Battle Rage. It doesn't enter revealed card zone. It'll yeah. Click. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Take a clip of it real quick. And we'll open keep it. Don't draw a threat. <laughs> Don't draw a threat. Alright, so they got Stub and Battle Rage left in hand. And they didn't draw a threat. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby. Alright. Let's go for the... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, no changes? Yeah, I think no changes is fine. Okay. Yeah, seems okay. Okay. Look at these guys. Thanks for joining, Epoch. No, the spell snare actually might be relevant since he has snapcasters. Yeah. Oops. So did any of you guys watch the Mythic Invitational? I did not. Where Andrea Minguchi battled his way into winning $250,000. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. That's how much of that's worth now? Well, it was a $1 million tournament. Yeah. It's their new... It's so the... Um, Does it replace the Pro Tour? Yeah. So, yeah, the Mythic Championships replace the Pro Tour, but there's still a paper Pro Tour. But it's like half the prize pool... And like way more, so so get this. So the play or er, so Wait, Mythic's all online. No, oh, okay. so there's an online arena version, okay. which is the one that just happened. Okay, uh, and that has a million dollar prize pool between like sixty four players, if I remember correctly. Oh my gosh. Um, and then the oh, like great. Mythic Championships that are now the the Pro Tour, the paper ones. Those are still the old Pro Tours, but they bumped it up to seven hundred fifty thousand. I think it's either five hundred k or seven hundred fifty k. Okay, but regardless. There's like 500 plus people in those. So like the, if the you look at, yeah, the percent, like they're really incentivizing you to play, uh, to play some uh, arena. Wow. I should start playing arena then. Yeah. Arena is like, it's, it's so like the whole qualifying thing is like, you have to be like top 1000. You have to be like mythic ranked. Because there's like the percentage, and then like once you get a percentage, then you're in the rank portion. Oh, that's why the guys, um, our friends have all been playing a, the crap out of it, and they keep posting when they hit mythic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, like, you do that, that qualifies you for the mythic qualifying weekend, which is yeah, like you have to you play here. like you have to you like win seven matches without getting three losses and best of ones. And then, um... Uh, that's fine. And then once you... What is it? Like, you do that, and then... Could we opt here? With the Sulphur Falls, right? In case we had a path. Uh, Bolt kills it, too. Okay, then we'll just hold up Scalding Turn. Yeah. Sorry. 
So you have to do really well at the tournament, and you have to obviously do really well leading up to it. Yeah. I mean, like, the guys that got, like, third and fourth, I think, got 70k. So, like, you're already making, like, way more than most... Like, that's, like, what... That's an entire year worth of payout yeah. if you're, like, an amazing Yeah, player. that's, like, winning... That's, like, getting first place in three different GPs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, should we bottom this? Because we already have the fourth land, mm -hmm. right? We're so good. Yep, we bolted. Got him. Straight away. Uh, nope, yeah. F6. Just, just. Man, this, this shadow player has has never really never really played uh, shadow much, I feel like. Oh, we're so good. If this was like Brandon Dalloway piloting, shadow would be so dead. <laughs> Oh, we got a field of ruin for the blood crypt, too. Woo. Nice blood crypt. We know you don't play mountains. They, they shock, so they have a call against command to get back their shadow, or do they just have another shadow? Yeah, okay. Making us discard. The scalding turn. Uh, no, because we need a second, need it for a second. Um, yeah. Yeah, because we can. Yeah. Yeah. We can feel the room to get the. Uh, yeah, the source. So. Yep. Okay. We do bolt. So, we yeah. did. That's actually like kind of interesting. We can present a really strong clock. Yeah, I think yeah. we just feel the room and pass. Okay. And we uh, snap bolts on their end stuff. If they don't play anything. Or. Yeah. Oh, the okay. We already the one, have a bolt. In the yeah, yard. The, room, the one yeah. in the yard. Well, they, they just got Death Shadow back, right? Uh, yes. Oh, that's true. Fortunate that we don't have four mana. Maybe they'll fetch Shock again. Possible. Is that a Delta? That is a Delta. That is a Delta. We might actually be able to... Force them to yeah get them to like incentivize them to do it by field of ruining the red source. Yeah, I definitely like field of ruining the blood crypt here. That's fine. Uh, what basic are we getting? Are we getting a white we're source a for the wrath, yeah, or are we gonna get a red source for the bolt? We don't need a red source for the bolt. But what if I want to bolt this turn? We don't want to bolt this turn. Somebody's a hater. <laughs> Well, he thought scarred us. He was a path. Victory is ours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of don't hate sorcery speed snap path to exile. Yeah. Yeah? No, we can do it on their upkeep. Do they have a stub in the grave? Sure. They don't have a stub in the grave, so we can do it on their upkeep. And then we'll see if they want to crack it. If they bring this down to one. Yeah, yeah, might as well just okay. pass turn. Oh, they, they might, yeah, let's let them turn. attack us. They might do it before damage. I'll stop at the upkeep just in case, but. Or do we just want to try to jam this Wrath of God? We can. I think. I feel like the I Wrath think of God we is more turn. punishing. Because we can do a lot of stuff on their turn, and then if that doesn't play out, we're able to Wrath on our turn. Yeah, well, I like. What I like is letting them sure. swing. Mm -hmm. And before damage, they might try to crack in shock to get more to damage. Two turn clock us. Yeah, mm -hmm. two turn clock us, and then that, and then we can snap bolt them, and then kill yeah, them. we have the option of bolt snap uh, bolt uh, epoch, um, but the th basically that only does um, six damage instantly, and then two damage well, with the snap swing. We actually don't have bolt snap bolt. We only have one red source. That's just why I said I wanted the other source. <laughs> okay. No, we can snap yeah. bolts and then bolt on our turn. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're able to field of ruin, but that's that's going to be the following turn if we have to do that, I believe. So we'll pass here, see what they do. We want them. Okay, they didn't crack it, and we're still good to let them go. Uh, I think so. Yeah, might as well. We'll see how greedy they get with their polluted delta. <laughs> they can scared us this time, or themselves this time. Mm -hmm. Did they put double path in the grave? Holy crap. They did. So we're just letting it hit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
so they're not getting greedy. They might have learned a lesson. So I like snap bolting here anyway to try to draw out the stubborn denial. Okay. Um, that way our wrath will resolve. I mean, we could just, if we want to draw out the stubborn denial, we could just. I mean, we can go for lethal right now anyway. I mean, this we're presenting lethal. Because they tapped their death shadow. So bolt of the path. Well, the awkward thing is, is if they have a stubborn denial and they counter the second bolt, they can just kill us. Right. <laughs> and if we go path here, we can put them in a position where we can wrath next turn. That's, what, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So we can like we have a bolt in hand, so we have some some resources here. And because the, the bolt snap bolt plan also gets screwed over if they just have a removal spell. Not to mention there are two cards in hand. They have to use a card here. And then um, we also, like... So even if they stubborn denial... Wow, that just works. All right. <laughs> I was going to say, even oh, if they... Okay, oh, Colonnade's a good draw. So I attack, play Colonnade. Okay. Well, this is the same hand we looked, right? So... No, that was last turn. Oh, that was last the, game. Last game, okay. So just Colonnade and we're just going to swing? Yep. Yeah. If we draw land next turn, they're dead. And Shadow still is Shadow on two basics? Yeah. Okay. So all our field of ruin is strip mine now, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Strip mine plus. Strip mine plus. It's a I, shadow. I like not field of ruining here. Yeah, because if they fetch up a red source, you're thinking. Um no, just to leave that extra lane in our deck for colonnade. Okay. So we're just not doing anything here, we're passing. Well yeah, sure. Okay. Um, they didn't have stubborn denial before, and then they just dropped the the shadow now. Yeah. So we can go for lethal. We could go field of ruin, get a red source, bolt and helix. bolt and helix. Yeah. I sure. like I like it. They're gonna float mana. We're gonna go. Do they have the stubborn in graveyard? I don't believe so. No, they just have thought scouters. Okay, because if they did, it'd be worth it to go to the next phase, so they couldn't snap stubborn. Yeah, this this guy seems F sixed. Oh, guess not. Do you have an answer, opponent? Would you like your shadow to be? Ah, <laughs> oh, you didn't want it to have a thirteen thirteen shadow. I mean, we're missing out. Three and zero. Oh no, I don't think you're backseat driving. Def definitely just always, uh, I, I like to state whatever someone says in chat just because I don't have it on the stream um, recording. So then if someone's watching this later on, um, they'll have no idea what I'm talking about if I don't rephrase or restate whatever's asked of me. That's why I try to make a habit of doing that. So You could put Twitch chat on your stream, like on the side somewhere. Yeah, I know. Other I haven't, streamers do it. They do. I, I haven't really decided like how I want to approach it because like I can move I'm my logo. Surprised that you haven't um, taken that Twitch chat and popped it out of that window and put it on your big one, so it's like very large, so you can. Oh yeah, it's put it far more here. readable for you. Okay, okay, that's very reasonable. Let's go to our let's go to our dashboard. Let's uh, throw out chat. It doesn't increase the text size. Garbage. It well, I mean, it looks bigger than it is from over there. I mean, it does, though. It's on a bigger screen. I can't read any of that. Oh, you can't read any of that? No. Okay. Oh, my eyes are terrible. Oh, I can see the people that are in this. Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad at this, by the way, folks. <laughs> oh. I wonder if there's a like a third party program because I've seen some of the other streamers where like they show the setup and like they have like this huge like like it's like one screen and it's like large text. It's just large text, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm sure there is. Uh, is this hand good enough to keep? Uh, we're not doing much. We don't have any interaction. We don't, other than the anger. You got anger in the gods. Right, Easy. and we're on the They're going to be dredged. We're going to blow them out. <laughs> we have our <laughs> All right, mana. George. Okay. All right, we got it. You convinced Dewey. 
she didn't. <laughs> I got the. Alright. Like, uh, Tarn pass. Mm-hmm. So, we have to fetch up a. Um, blue white. Yeah. Well, yeah, a blue white spike. Oh, well, I, no, we can do red white. Let's see what they do first. Yeah. We have two cryptics okay. in the deck, so red white is just um, fine. So it looks like they're probably on Phoenix, I'm gonna guess. There's a whole lot that could be on. That makes me kind of want to fetch. I like not fetching. You like not fetching? I like not fetching. Because we don't, they could be on a blue moon deck. Um, I mean, it's most likely Phoenix, but it could be Blue Moon. So I think just not fetching is the correct way. Putting the Sulfur Falls in the plate packed. I think we play the Field of Ruin. Sure. You. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hate Fortnite. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I think we just play Field of Ruin and pass. Yeah. That way it leaves. Uh, you know. It doesn't really matter, I guess, because we don't have any two drop, but we're bluffing a counter, I suppose. Okay, so probably Phoenix then? I mean, it could be any blue red. Phoenix deck, right? doesn't run Side of Hand. They don't? No. The this Storm is... doesn't run Scalding Tarn. Well, Some this have. definitely looks like a Storm list. Yeah, or they definitely have a, um, swapped to playing some Scalding Tarns. I've seen it, so. Have they? Okay. I thought it was something they just decided not to do because of the, the how much scrying they do. So we're still not on fetching right now? Um, if we're convinced they're on storm, I like fetching. I think they're on storm. Okay, we can fetch a halt on them. You just feel the room right now, just... Got them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let them opt they on They only have the one island in the deck. It's kind of, it's easy. So savage. Yeah, I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll move my logo up, my, my image up, and then put the text right below it, and it just eat up that right side of the screen. And that's fine. That's what Hoogland does. Yeah, Storm. Okay, we're on Storm, boys. So here I like Field of Ruin and then Path. We're getting a white source? Why won't we get a red source? Do they play... What is it in the main? Remain. Empty? They play... They do... I mean, it's pretty rare for them to play empty in the main, right? Is, is um, the no, thing? they play a one-of now because everyone's running surgicals in the main. Okay. So, I think we just path on the end step here. Okay. That's, 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 that's seems unfortunate, very but we have, like, it is what we have to do. It yeah. seems like they're correct play. I'm going to defer to George on this one because this is... I would as well. He oh, is. wow. Main deck peer through that. This guy's just going deep. <laughs> is this... Okay, it's not Sharer testing out new shenanigans. <laughs> Sharer will sometimes go way off the deep end on his streams. And then, like, he'll just be like, here's my tournament update and... Oh, wow. oh my god. This deck is garbage. Oh, my god. This deck is... I hate this deck. <laughs> Good lord. This is why we run the Nahiri, so we can have a win condition. Just but think, though, if we get another land, <laughs> we can Nahiri and get rid of Nahiri. It's Ooh, fine. Twice. Got it's him. fine. <laughs> yeah, Nahiri upticks to, you know, replace the extra Nahiri. Is it sort of like Liliana uptick, and you discard the other Yeah, you Liliana. still play Liliana, right? You still play four over. <sighs> that card just seems infinitely better. Oof. Oh, my God. God, we're, so, we're, dead. Just, we're such an event. We're going to get creatureless killed. <laughs> <sighs> At this rate, yeah. Although, I really hope that they just, like, go for the empty. That would be <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> I think we ambush Viper them, to be fair. This is on our upkeep. Oh, this is on our upkeep? Yeah. Oh. Um, you've so, been past in Flames and Metamorphose. Right. Yep. Because they don't have a dude. Ooh. Well, that's good. Pretty okay draw, I'd have to say. But we still don't have a land. Yeah. <laughs> and we started off with all these lands, too, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We've drawn uh, Nihiri, Nihiri, Logic. At least they're drawing a lot of lands. They're running Misty, too? George, you gotta get under level. I mean, if I had, like, 
two grand. I could just throw. You know, if I was Andrea Mangucci and I had just, yikes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's resolving. Yep. They just have infinite mana. Um, we can snap path. Can. <sighs> but is it better to well, wait our for them? That's not going to be any good. Is it better it? to wait for them to get to the point where? Um, they're tapped out to the most as much as possible, and then snap pathing is what I'm thinking. Let them run through all of their rituals because they're on the ritual plan right now. No, they have they have us dead. Um, I'm just trying to think if they have um, any mana choke points where this logic knot will do something to them. So they have to do ritual. So they have one, two, three, six, uh, eight mana. Flashback four mana. No oh, god, we're so close. We um, have a, four mana. Well, yeah, we four mana, a... and then they do ritual, ritual, mana morphos. So that gives them. So they go to uh, six, eight, nine. Flashback three. Go to six. I think we're just dead. Let's so, see if they try to empty us. Yeah, I think we. we <laughs> well, can't we snap path here? N no, because so they're going to go to six mana here, and then they can go to seven mana even with that, and then they can still um, gifts ungiven. They only it, have they, can, the, they, they can only have the two forms. rituals. They don't have more than two. Oh, well, they go ritual, yeah. ritual, right? So they go up on the mana. That's fine. They're going to go to six. They have to burn another well, mana. seven. They're going to be at seven um, mana, and then like so seven, and they can. Cast the pass and flames from the yard that puts them to Five, two, two. Then that goes to three, four, draw. So they can't pass them flat. I mean, uh, can't they, have the, they have three mana up, so. You know, he's talking about that with the mana that we're counting. Oh, uh, wait, no, they have eight mana because they can respond with the ritual, so they have right. one extra mana. Um, but this doesn't allow them to just automatically win, is my point. Well, I mean, depending on what's in their hand. Yeah, yeah, I guess snap pathing is... The downside is that if they have the empty Orange, we're getting rid of our ability to fetch up the red source right now. No, we're not. Because, well, we will take one hit. No, we won't. If we're snap pathing... Oh, right for now. snap pathing oh, yeah, right now. Have to, yeah. yeah, so we have to... It's... I mean, I, I feel like we're super dead, so I guess we can just try to snap path and get lucky. You know. Let's do it. I wonder if logic knotting and forcing and like countering, yeah. If the logic knot might have forced them to attack. All right, you can scoop. <laughs> you're you're so dead. Are we? I I feel like you're pretty dead with that metamorphose there in response. Yeah, you thinking trying to logic knot the brawl? Um, to force them to tap. Ooh, down. yeah, logic knotting the brawl. Yeah, might have been. Oh, Ooh, have a guess. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, um... Wow. Yeah, five, six... Wait. No. What? Because they're going to Gifts. And then Past and Flames is going to... They'll have one mana after Past and Flames, right? What do you mean? No, they're just going to get Rituals right now. I mean, if we give them the Rituals... Well, we have to at least give them one, and at the very minimum, they would get a mana morphos if we gave them the least yeah, amount we're, def of <laughs> we're definitely not putting the, like... <sighs> like, remand. we don't care about remand. Yes, we do, because we have a they path just on. remand oh. the path. Yeah, oh. we actually... I forgot the path of Sons deck. Yes, we, we would have to pa uh, get rid of the remand and the so mana morphos, and then in six. response, they cast both rituals again. So, all right, so we're just... We're dead. dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah. Good. Wow. Good job, guys. Way to math it. All right. Everything in that column. Vendillion click as well as yes. Good. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, yeah, yeah damping spheres, spheres. Surgical. Yeah, might as well. I mean. All right, and then we board out this clunky combo. <laughs> but it's so good. Yeah, not against a comp check. All right, what uh, else? I are we think doing? we also take out the Gideon, not the Anger. Okay. 
Well, I feel like one anger is probably fine. It would take out the Gideon. You you pulled in, yeah. Oh, sorry. Then, um, we probably we can cut out? the. Paths. We have six out so far, and we have nine. We're bringing in. We can cut some of the paths. What? I mean, right? Because we still have bolts and helixes, right? I guess. I mean, I feel like I'd rather cut like search for Escanto. Yeah, I kind of would rather cut search for Escanto too. Because like, I'd rather okay. just have answers to everything they're doing. Not to mention tapping out on turn two is kind of like miserable. Fakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the storm opponent sees them, they're like, "Yes, please." So like, all of this seems pretty reasonable um, as far as what we're cutting, and I like. Let's cut one more. Yeah. Cut an anger. Yeah, one. We don't need three angers. Or maybe we cut. A, yeah. Do we really have three angers in the main deck? Yeah. Jeez, he's, he's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Actual bona fide monster. Man, I wish we had more logic with this. We're gonna get him with the spell snare though. I have two subscribers. Who's my other subscriber? You should be able to see that somewhere. I know. Did so, someone subscribe today? I don't know. It says two subscribers. Oh, missed their subscribe subscription. Look at this little yeah. ungrateful streamer. Oh my gosh, that's so mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is oh, so yeah. bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jeez, no thanks. All right, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a little, that's a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, we're keeping it, but this is pretty bad too. That's fine. Okay. We'll keep. Mm, we don't need that. Bottom there, yeah. <sighs> we need a white source. Island pass. I mean, if you want some F6 value, you can just island opt F6. Yeah. I do love F6 value. That's, yeah, we don't. Yeah, just. Well, I'd yeah, bottom, no, bottom, bottom that, get, that one. Oh, but it's yeah. Snap. It's There's the no best card source. ever. I mean, we're, we're definitely not playing that on turn two. We're definitely playing the Sulfur Fall so we can logic knot them. Well, actually, no. You do play Colonnade next turn. I mean, I guess it depends, but... Yeah, we can play Sulphur Falls, then Colonnade the following turn, then feel the room for Cryptic. Well, no, I, I like to Colonnade this turn because they're not killing us on turn two. But then we can't hit their... Their duder their that we Lord. don't have an answer for. Wouldn't you rather hit Colonnade the Lord? They, they're not going to play it. their two-drop into... Like, you don't just run your dude out. Unless you have multiples of them. Okay. I mean, if you want to leave it up for just in case, like, I, I can't say what the opponent's going to do. But right. I mean, so, heck, they might even try to cause I was empty us. Because I was thinking like, we have Sulphur Falls this turn to hold up Logic Knot. Next turn we can run a Field of Ruin. Sure. And then we'll be able to fetch up the Blue Source to have the Cryptic Mana. That's fine. Okay. Out of all of their edit options, I can't change the text size. How terrible. Can you do the, like, control scroll okay, wheel That's a pretty it? good draw. Yeah, that might be possible. Uh, that makes me kind of want to... Nope. Oh, we well, it does planes. it to everything. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, so what do you want to play here? Mm. Now that we've drawn the path, do you want to hold the path available? Um, or just run out the field. That just means we can't have cryptic available. Yeah. I like I like putting the field of ruin, and then we can crack it on their end step if they don't do anything, and that gives us yet another thing in the yard for logic knots. So yeah. it's yeah. It just sucks that we drew the plane, so we don't have that option available to us. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, it is fine, but okay, that's fine. Gifts, Gifts ungiven. ungiven has entered the revealed card zone. Feel like that resolves? Uh, no, if we counter that, they can't do anything no. else this turn. Who cares? And then we have cryptic up the If we let turn. the if no, we they're don't. going to try to go off. Yeah, I, I yeah. think and we have a path to exile. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was just 
So we we'll, well, thinking like, out loud. Okay. Right? Oh yeah, we're gonna like potentially we can just sit here because they have to tap down um to just red mana. Mm-hmm. So we're like immune to their interaction okay. for our logic knot. Like if they like we can let them. Yeah, see, they're not going to do anything here. So we can Field of Ruin their, um, their, uh, untapped Spire Bluff. And then we can, uh... Get a blue source? Or do, like, we can... Yeah, we get a blue source. So that we can play our planes. Yeah. And then we, we path on our turn. Okay. Or we can... Bolt. No, 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 we... we um, no, why would we not bolt? I think bolt. Yeah, they don't get another land. Well, no, so... If they're leaving the blue open to remand, mm -hmm. uh, if we lead with path, they, like, remand, and then we can bolt it, and then we still have logic not up. Eh. It's the same either way, right? Well, okay, so if we lead on bolt and they remand, then we have to path and they get the land. Okay. This is this is sort of assuming that they have a remand effect in their hand. That's fair. Because they floated the blue there. Mm -hmm. No, All right. just nothing. We'll just pass. We have this bolt to kill them. That's <laughs> kill them. Yeah. <laughs> Three damage to the head. Get them. They have so many cards. Man, did you see that Varaska planeswalker that um, they spoiled? Yeah. Just make a dude that kills okay, planeswalkers. Okay, so shocking. That's fine. So what are they... Uh, they're going to EOT... They're going to Ritual Gifts holding up Remand? Or they're just going to get We gifts? can Logic Knot that. Yeah, just Logic Knot that for two. Hold up, um... Is this not... Yeah. This is yeah, our upkeep. Our upkeep. Yeah, so we exile, um... Two opt in, opt in land. Okay. Yeah. Leave the path in the yard. It really makes me wonder why they shocked. Because they have a dispel. Okay. That's fine. Ish. Fine ish. Yeah, we should have thought about that one. Well, I mean, we, regardless, we should have gone for the counter there. They, yeah. They're going to have dispel was, regardless. Well, yeah. Like, what, like, what are we going to do? Just let them have a Gibson given? Yeah. Like, we, we're going to throw out the counter no matter and they're what. Going, they have, like, five mana, so they're going to be able to dispel mm -hmm. no matter what. So, like, we just. You know, if they don't have the dispel there, then got them. Like they also did it on our upkeep, acting like they didn't have any sort of interaction. So, but no, I mean, yeah, we should have called it out, but I think it would have ultimately led to the same play. Well, we could have cryptic um, to save the logic down for later. Yeah, I think the cryptic would have, have been more punishing. Yeah, yeah, we would have lost if we, cryptic, we can't hold up the we're, bolt. We're tapping out, <laughs> like if we cryptic. And then they're like, okay, cool, you're tapped out, and mm -hmm. like, I got to resolve this gifts I'm given, like, untap, kill you. Because they have four cards in hand right now before the gifts I'm given. Mm -hmm. They're thinking real hard. So they can have the brawl. We pitched the. Bin, Past and Flames, and Desperate Ritual? Yeah. 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 Just rush out a colony and pass it over? Or do we care about them potentially? Uh, put the Scalding Tarn cause, so we can play around Remand. Yeah. Slash Unsubstantiate. Yeah. Good lord, they have seven cards in hand. <laughs> look, look. This is an uphill battle. Okay? Oof. You don't get to 3 L without some haters, okay? That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep it up strong? Get him. If we get to untap here, it's pretty good for us. Because, mm -hmm. like, we get to have Cryptic plus Bolt up on their next turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, immediately Bolt. So that was the Ooh. Pyretic? Yep. Okay. So, so they... They've played so all the cards. So they played a Metamorphose. 
Yeah, they played the Brawl and Pyretic. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Anytime Sweet. I see multiple Manamorphos, I'm always sad. Yeah, you're you're pretty dead here. Like, I think you're... Well... I mean, there's a chance we're not dead. Yeah. So... Let's see what happens. depends on what rituals they have. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so they have more rituals. Opponent's, opponent's so rude. I, oh, man, if he gets remand again... <laughs> We let him keep it. <laughs> Why? Because then, Cause then he, he re- because he can remand it. Oh, then just... we just bolt again. Yeah, yeah. Eats up some of his mana, and we get to still kill his thing. Well, he'd be tapped out for the turn. He has pyretic ritual on the stack. Okay, but he would have nothing but red mana, no lord. And well, bo- and his can... metamorphoses are gone. Uh, so, well, they're in the graveyard, and he has a freaking pass of flames in the yard that we vend earlier. Okay, so we well, have to have a lot more rituals in here. We'll just see what he gets. And then, uh... Not necessarily. Like, he, he could actually just, like, grape shot us pretty easily from this point. Like, depending on what he gets with gifts I'm given, like, he could, he could actually just grape shot us. Yeah. Well, oh, uh, I remember when I was uh, busy getting lunch with people earlier, so I didn't um, mention it in the chat. But um, that enchantment or artifact, or whatever it is, the triple black three oh, the one. Oh, the Citadel. Do you think at all that ad nauseum tendrils would uh, play it um, in Legacy as 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 another? Well, ad nauseum tendrils. Well, maybe it's a possibility, right? Yeah, that is an interesting one. You can't burning wish for it though, which is awkward. That's fair. Well, I get no. You can't. Well, you can't burning or cunning wish, which is like the big thing. Um, um we bin the. Uh, Jesus. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, if he's going for the empty line, like that's all right with us. Like I think we make him. Do we send the two all... Uh, okay, so he's gonna get three mana. Right. Uh, if we bend, so mana morphos gets him to five, and then he can empty. So that'll be seven, eight, nine, eighteen goblins. And we can tap now for maybe a turn. But yeah. We can, and we can take one hit off of it, and then possibly get a wrath. It's just awkward giving him a mana morphos. I always hate that. I know. Um, alternatively, I mean, we can bend the mana morphos and the desperate. Um, but I think if we do that line, they get to just chain through everything again anyhow. Right? Well, I'm just thinking, like, if he's on the empty plan, like, do we try to bait him into spending it all into the... Uh, well, no, yeah. If they're on the empty Giving plan, him the empty Manamorphos forces him to just do that this turn. And then they still can do everything later on because their graveyard's still full. If we bin the Manamorphos and the empty, they have to go off in order to do the empty. Yeah, so they have to Manamorphos right now to, mm-hmm. be able to do the empty. Okay, yeah, I like this. Yeah, bin the two rituals. It chokes them on mana, so like... If they have more rituals, then we're dead either way, but... Like, hopefully this Manamorphos misses. Anytime someone casts Manamorphos... If it were you playing, it would. <laughs> That's very fair. Specifically against me. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just give me Manamorphos every time. It's me double... Well, I guess he's getting triple red, so... Alright. It looks... Looks like we're seeing an empty for... Oh, I guess it's only 16. As if that mattered, but... Oh, never mind. He has the sleight of hand. Ooh, is he gonna try it? Is he... Is he gonna get there with the sleight of hand? I forgot. <laughs> Fetches. Polluted <laughs> Delta. Got him. Oh my god. So aggressive. Another Serum Visions. Jeez. All right, I, I mean, this does put a leaf on the board. It's pretty good for him. Yep. So we're going to go fetch up a hallowed fountain? No. We no, need another red source. Oh, a sacred foundry. Yes. Yeah, we didn't board in Wrath of God, yep. so we don't need the double white. Okay. I don't know why we didn't bring in the EE. I don't know, dude. that's like kind of narrow. It's like narrow and clunky. We have like... I mean, it's better than Anger of the Gods, though. No, it's not. Anger of the Gods, like, is three mana killed their guy. EE is, is four mana. 
No. Yeah. So Not when it's goblins. E for, well, okay. That's and fair. we have single target removal for the other. I'm just saying that. This is all the normal chat that would be happening, by the way, in our chat. Okay, so we have cryptic, snap cryptic. Yeah, so, so we, we just definitely are crypticing in our upkeep. Yes. So we don't <laughs> lose to them drawing a remand. That they probably already have. Well, you know, you gotta believe. No, because if they had a remand, they would have cast up. No, last turn they didn't have the... Well, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're fair, right? They would have cast it. We're going to tap draw. Tap all your opponent's creatures and draw a card. Doesn't even target, jeez. Oh my gosh, so bad. That's a surgical. We could we surg surgical their past in flames right now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure I click on the right one. Something to tap, yeah. This locks out their graveyard. I got Brawl, Manamorphos, a Braid, and Pieces. I mean, that's a pretty good hand still. He gets to go Brawl, Pieces of the puzzle. But they don't have another Pass and Flames. So they only they cut down to one Pass and Flames. Wow, really? They do it's have like a Blood, blood Moon. They do have Blood that's Moon. What else do they have? <laughs> they have one, two Grave right, Shots. I did take a screenshot of it over here. I'm going to let it go back to their turn just so we can okay. save some yeah, time. Uh, but you guys can't keep commenting on what they have. And they have three remand. They have remand. And they have a repeat. Remand, remand, yep. Okay. So they have the draw for turn. Weird. They, I mean, uh, that's fair. You do board out of a pass in flames against decks that have white. So he drew. He'd have literally. He drew right. flooded strand. Yeah, so he drew flooded, flooded strand. Well, we don't know what he drew for the. Yeah, um, there's still an unknown. Yeah. What do you mean there's still unknown? Because, well, no, because we, we did uh, it before their turn. Yeah, so they, drew, yeah, they drew a flooded strand. And then they drew with Mana Morphos. Oh, so, I didn't see him play Mana Morphos. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So right now they just have a brain. What did they reveal? Uh, oh, Jesus. Is that a Scrolling Grape Shot? Turn. Grape Shot Ritual Gifts. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> Oof. Good lord, that was a good pieces of the puzzle. I wish I was as good as their opponent. Yeah, right? I'm kidding. I am that good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also kidding, you're better. Got it. Oh. So storm count five. And then they have a braid. So that could be six, seven, eight, nine. They just... They drew a remand. We're dead. <laughs> Did really just rip a remand? <laughs> oh, oh, my no. God. Or just, like, second grape shot. And right, those ones for nine. They're just going for it. They do not care. We can just F6, right? I already did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? I love F6 value. It also gets me in a lot of trouble. You know, whatever. Yeah, just second grape shot. <laughs> no, they remanded, they remanded it. Uh, no, they didn't. I saw the remand. No, there was no remand. You saw them pull up their graveyard. Yeah, he draws the cards with the remand right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, it was he, just so to, he drew two cards and discarded a card because they had a Baral in play. That's so good. Oh, man. Our opponent's good at this game. I mean, to be fair, blue control decks are my favorite matchup with Storm. Are they really? Yeah. No, See that's weird because when I'm playing straight blue white, I like playing against Storm. Oh, I I like I actually prefer straight blue white because all of your targeted removal is trash. I mean, you're not wrong <laughs> against you. You're not wrong. Yeah, F six of the game's not over yet. Yeah, we're just letting them do their thing. You know, they they like to enjoy themselves, play what they got going on. Yeah, and then you we'll let the Storm out. player go off a little bit. You know, let them have some fun. Yeah. Anyone that thinks that if you um, you're not like you're doing them like a disservice. You're doing them a service every time. Yeah, it's fun to draw cards. Not yeah. to mention getting the practice of doing your lines is good. Yeah, people play online with combo decks so they can actually practice the combo decks. I did it for KCI for those two weeks that I owned the deck. <laughs> <I was> banned. <laughs> well, you still own the deck. 
Well, Dude, it's, it's you, great. You have all the pieces for like what Cheerios now? Is that all the cards in Cheerios? It's all the expensive ones. I mean, you have uh, you have Mox Opals. That's the expensive cards. Yeah, I mean, I I, I paid a fair bit of money and ninety five percent of it. Build affinity now? Or do you you know you don't have Ravagers. You don't have Hardened Skulls. Oh, I might. Uh, I'd have to check. Uh, I got a bunch of cards with Andrew's collection when I picked that up. Uh, and there's some artifact based cards in there. I forget if it's Ravagers or I don't know. It's some stuff. Oh my god, talk about... Mutavolt, like, so... Uh, fish? Fish. Okay. No. Nope. Unique humans list. Or, or, uh, wizards. <laughs> wizards. <laughs> Going deep, huh? Five color wizards. Five color wizards. Hoogland was running that on his channel. The other Five day. color wizards? Five color wizards in modern. Dude, I'm in. It's, yeah, look up that video on Hoogland's YouTube channel. Five <laughs> color wizards. Yeah, it was, it was gas. It was a real pile. His five color wizards was playing mutable. I don't think it actually was playing mutable. <laughs> so, so, but yeah, that's a howl. Of a... Okay, what the heck? Yeah, humans. Yeah, we're just gonna count. leak this. Yeah, um, might as well. They have aether vial, so yeah. like our leak yeah. loses a lot of value. <laughs> might as well leak while we still can. And we've already got the second red source here, so just a hollow fountain. Yep. I already got it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked so to So now we just Sacred Foundry. And then... Don't look, George. Don't be, <laughs> don't be unreasonable here. I'm trying to pay life Listen, for our Someone's putting an Aether Vial into play with a Mutaball and a Thalia. Like, I want to save some life points. What? We're going to be able to exile that Aether Vial with our Nahiri. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. oh, what are they on? Jesus. Oh, they are spirits. They're mm -hmm. spirits. So it's blue white spirits then if they're playing Muta Vault. Okay. It might be okay. Esper? Esper spirits? With lingering souls? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, good thing we played that that uh that um Mana Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> Those two cars right there makes that mana leak look pretty bad. That's a Kira. <laughs> <laughs> Oh what? no! What's happening? I guess. No. I mean, so we... now we path and then bolt it. Yeah, we have to path. Oh no! That seems so. Wait, does rattle chain only the... target spirits? Is Kira a spirit? Kira is a spirit. Oh no, we're so dead. It's. <laughs> we have to like. We have to bolt the path and bolt it though. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Because it makes all of our other removals super bad. It's a two two. Yeah. Okay. This rail change is going to be the literal no, worst. We, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put us, put us in the in the bin. Let us just immediately scoop opponent. No. If not. they do, we'll be able to untap into hearing. Oh yeah. And then exile, exile the aether vial. Oh, oh. Selfless spirit. That's not bad. We messed up. We should have definitely played around the selfless spirit with the path. We should have reversed the order. That's fair. So now we Nahiri to get rid of their Aether Vial? I think we Nahiri just take out and make them attack it, don't we? Yeah. Wait, no. Because then they can kill that Nahiri and we'll play the other one in... Does this counter abilities too? Yes. Yeah. Okay, never mind. You're right. Yeah, you have to You're right. Nahiri. Nahiri. Yeah, we just take out, get rid of Nahiri. Alright, time to drop him or cool. I like not... Do we need... I don't want to get this rid of the second Nahiri. Nahiri. Get rid of that card. Right now, we just want to get to, like, right. an anger. Yeah. All right. Right? Like, that's our game plan. What is second Nahiri doing? Give us a backup Nahiri. To when they kill what? that one. To do what? When they kill that one. To But to do what? Play it. And then? Use it. Where we would? Kill them with it. But they killed the first one. So if the first So one if we do it this turn, if they don't play a lord, we get to keep Nahiri next turn. Well, that's happening regardless, but... Um, Not to mention, we have two more in the deck that we could possibly draw. And we saw how good we are at drawing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's not great. Pass. I mean, I'd rather have a Flooded Strand than a Nahiri. In I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather have a land that allows me to possibly cast two spells on the next turn than a four-mana do-nothing. 
Oh. Uh. <gasps> Harry's sticking around a little bit longer. I don't like that. All of that. Yeah, we're so dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what? Plus up been the spell snare. Yeah, no, we yes. have to use her ability, right, to get rid of the cura. Where that that spell lightning helix never resolves in millions of years. We're just. We need to, like, uptick this Nahiri and keep distracting them they, they went up to three, though. This, uh, like... The spell stars are irrelevant. They're just going to play Rattle Chains or... Um, spell Queller. Yeah. Rattle Chains. Another, um... I guess running for it isn't the worst thing, right? Like, we can just Helix and exile it. I mean, I think we yeah, should Helix, Helix we... and see what happens, at least. Yeah, Helix and see what happens. Maybe they're... You have to... Yeah. Yeah, maybe they're... Nope. Uh, Look at their wrench they do, I believe in you. I don't. Wait. I think we should leave up the um, sacred foundry in case we draw a bolt. So tap the hollow phone. You got Yep. Yeah. We're not drawing anything. If, oh, you're right. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, I'll still, I'll still it, tap it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wow, that worked. That's strange. I swear to God, if they if they stifle birds, that's no, a rattle chains. It's a rattle chains. Oh my God, we've wasted so many resources on this stupid camera. That's what happens, though. <laughs> yeah, we're, we we like, what are we gonna do? Stare at it and watch as he deploys yeah. all of his creatures that have the Kira ability on them. Yeah. Boy, we're getting ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this like, is not great. This is like the literal worst matchup. Oh. I mean, we did we did make a mistake by not playing around the selfless spirit right, on the right. first go around, but what if they had the rattle chains? Yeah, as they well? probably had the rattle chains at the same point. No, they would have just been rattle chains because then it was it wouldn't, the creature wouldn't have died, and then they would have been able to keep it. Uh, two threats on the board and so on. That's fair. So, yeah, they definitely didn't have the rattle chains. Maybe they'll get aggressive and only attack us. No. <laughs> They're definitely just going to kill it and then attack us. Oh boy. They're definitely just going to kill it oh and boy. attack us. <laughs> Wait! They didn't tap Cavern for that. They didn't. Do we? We were. We were oh my chatting. gosh! They were being gigantic donkeys, <laughs> and we didn't get to justice them for it. Oh my gosh. I feel terrible with life. Not really. We're, I'm pretty sure we're still just dead. We're, yeah, we're pretty close to that in this game, so I think that's why our opponent is playing like garbage, but... Don't worry, we'll draw like the answer right now. We're gonna get it with one of the three Anger of the Gods in the main deck. Card's not gonna help us. Gideon <sighs> with zero to get an emblem to, to get some. We're gonna gain. We're gonna pick, we're gonna gain three life right here. Yeah, gaining three life. That's what this Gideon says. Four life. Nope, we're gonna spell color. <laughs> I'm so done with life right now. We're done. I'm done. All right, I'm we'll done. Go to the next game. I'm, I'm done here. Our opponent said nothing you do uh, do matters. I'm, yeah, I'm testing. All right. That. So nice. we're definitely bringing all of the answers. Okay, so we're bringing a Supreme in Wrath and, and E.E. Uh, yep, and I also like the clicks. They block things. They can be a three-mana Doomblade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing else I think is worth it. Uh, nah. And are you taking out the counters here? Yeah, we're taking out the leaks. we're taking out the Logic Knot, we're taking out this, yep, man, one of the, one of the, yep. Like that? Really? We're taking out Cryptic? So Cryptic can tap down their board. So there is relevance there. Bias a turn. What else Bounce would you take out? Bounce. The Gideon? A Nahiri? Yeah, yeah Nahiri or Gideon. Like Plains a one, oh, like so one of Nahiri? Hmm? A one of Nahiri taking it out? Yeah, I guess. Like, I like Cryptic over Nahiri here, because we still have three Nahiris. All right. So 
what's the next league on the docket? Or is it the all Blake Gorby special tonight? <laughs> no, no, I just play in Jersey next. This hand's so awkward. Or we'll keep it though. I know. I'm just saying. It, this is like you definitely lead with sulfur balls, though. <clears throat> oh, I agree. <laughs> I didn't realize it was sulfur balls. That was steam vents. Oh no, no, we're not that cool. <laughs> We've um, had like a surprising amount of sulfur falls in our opening hand with no islands in this league. Yeah. Um, I was going to play Bantledrazi next because it's it is one of still still one of the decks I'm thinking about playing for regional uh, not regionals but the open. Um, Reese thinks I should be on Valakut if I remember correctly from today talking to him. Uh, the breach Valakut pack I've just been doing really well with, so it's been very interesting. <laughs> This hand's great. We have piles of interaction. Especially this anger. I swear, if they have another Kira, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, I, just, I just wanna point that out on the We can now. beat the Kira. I know, there's gonna get like a selfless spirit though when we go anger. Well, if they play a selfless spirit naked here, we just snap off the pole. Oh yeah, that'll be the greatest thing ever. That's Thalia. <sighs> we don't have the mana leak this time. Nope. We don't even have mana to bolt on the inside of this Nope. Time. Stupid colony. Well, we did get the bolt, though. That's, so we can we still just bolt and then play colony. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If they play Kira, we, we sadly cast our Anger the Gods. <laughs> See, look at that. We got rid of Nahiri. Still drew it. Zero problems. Zero. Oh my god! <laughs> Good lord, what a, what a monster. Okay, so now we just helix and play something? I think we just play a land and pass. At this point. Okay, yeah, that's fine, because we can just hold up helix and. Yeah, we yeah. play Field of Ruin, right? Yeah, yeah, we definitely play Field of Ruin. Um, because I don't think we're in, like, we're not in a rush to do it. And if we do react, if they quell it, we can just anger. So give them that value. And then respond with that interaction. Yeah, sure. You guys want to... I yeah, do it right now that it incentivizes the, um, the queller. Because it, it's sort of like, alright, you don't get to deal two damage on this one. Okay. And we're fine with that as well. Third Thalia. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> Tears. Tears will come down. Oh, that's, that one's fine. Turn Turns out, turn four Aether Bile. Not oh that my big. gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, to be fair, we can play Nahiri here and uptick. Yeah. Discarding nothing. <laughs> you know. This guy's really good at drawing Thalia. <laughs> the actual best. Spell Pierce. Oh, I expected, like, Spell Pierce to just come out of nowhere. <laughs> no. Alright. Alright. Do your worst opponent. With your triple Thalia hand. D make make our day. Play out two creatures. It's he's, he's not doing that until our turn. Shh. Land's a good start. Land's a good start. <sighs> we get to snap Helix the Thalia on How is it already 8.30? Not really, we didn't start until like 6.30, I don't think. Dude, he like took our Nahiri? Yeah. That's really good. That's like really good. Oh, so I think we, we just Wrath. Um, don't we Anger? Yeah, I like the Anger better, because that brings around a... Well, he can... Anger allows us... Oh, we can, we can hold up Path. Yeah, yeah, yeah Anger leaves us Path. Also and... plays around in Maul's Wanderer. Mm -hmm. Unless he gets us with the fourth Thalia. I mean, I don't even really care. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just gonna uptick nothing. Yeah. I 
I don't even think they play fourth Thalios. But knowing our opponent right now, <laughs> this guy would. I can't wait to get mangled by a top deck. Uh, what is it? Moreland Haunt. Uh, I think we just keep playing lands out and just plus and don't do anything. Yeah. Because like our hand is really good right now. This, this land also makes our colonies active, which okay. is very strong against the Spirits deck. Alright, opponent. Squid Monster's coming your way if you don't do anything. So. Do we play around some of Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Hopefully we draw like a click. Do we just path that right now? Or do we not care? No, we can. We just have Colony to block with. Oh, that's so right. if he doesn't, like, if he does anything else, we will. Yeah. Yeah. So he can. He doesn't have anything with haste, so we can just colonnade and block, and then eat, even then still have path. Yep. I'm trying to think, like, what could he be playing? And that's fine. To play around the Emerald. Nothing. Stiflebird, get you. Besides Stiflebird. Um, trick bind, get ya. <laughs> Ooh, what if he repeats? No attack. They know. So he's playing well, on. Yeah, he's playing on blocking the Ember Pool. So we can wrath the god before no, he we. He didn't attack because we have a freaking colony. Yeah. We can activate. Yeah. He's, our opponent's not a giant idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he was hoping we would miss that line. We get a blue source, right? Yeah, we're so gonna, we I'm just get phone. Or uh, like we have double white already. Oh, I was just have, saying. Just, I still think we should get Halophone here. We already have basic mountain. Oh my god, we're so good. Uh, we're gonna get Stifle Bird right now. I just want to point that out. Probably. Sure. Do it to us, opponent. Yes. Get got. Ooh, we can grab a Dillion click. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. We got there, folks. Got there. Squid Billy's too good. All right, no changes. Yeah, screw that. Oh no, the hero's pretty good. I think we should bring the other one back in. Nope, uh, nope. You've been overruled. <laughs> I thought your... I had control over this stream. You do, except for that one. <laughs> except for any decisions involving the hero, you don't have control over that. <laughs> okay. You, you used up all of your your voting rights when you put the Nahiris in the deck. <laughs> this isn't bad. Yes, yeah, man, is really trash. It's really awkward. How many field of ruins does this deck play? Two, two. Jeez, oh, we're good at drawing them. <laughs> so know. what? Uh, fetch yeah. for a hollowed fountain. Yeah, we'll fetch hollowed fountain. Opt, and then we can play search and hope for the best. Hopefully, find this. Buy some time, eat either board away. It's a good card eventually. Mm -hmm. I mean, not with the hard lands we have. All colored, but all right. So just opt right now. Might um, as well. Yeah, sure. I just don't want to. Be just F six value, man. That's nope. Cool. No, we don't. Know. Oh, no, we're drawing. It's not Steam Visions. Never mind. We wouldn't want a second search. Never mind. Us. Just. <laughs> <laughs> They're legendary. He realized the error of his ways. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I was, for some reason, thinking we could bin it with the other search. I uh, just don't even. Yeah, just don't. Yeah. Even then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> No, I was, uh, for some reason, I was thinking Serum Visions, and that we could put it in the second card, and it would have been fine. But we're drawing, like, we're all just, of our white cards. Just run out search and pass? Yeah. yeah. I flash in the mausoleum water. No rattle chains. One time. Damn it. This opponent is so rude. That card is so good. And the Maw's Wanderer? God. <laughs> is that hit instance of sorceries or non creatures? Instance and sorceries. Okay, so our Gideon would yeah. resolve. Uh, all, everything in our hand is actually. Well, I guess the paths aren't, but. Dude, this EE for one is gonna be great. I nope. feel like we're gonna put that too. Yep, exactly. 
We're gonna pay three mana and put it on two. Not two. No, you pay two. He has a thousand. You cast it for one and you pay the extra as colored. Genius. Alright, y'all. What a a master. We're still taking five this turn. Good lord. Oh, okay. (laughs) He just wanted to be fancy and put in the combat stuff. (laughs) This guy does not know about Epson Valley. Uh, He is playing spirits, so that is fair. I think that's what we got. But dealing click. In not the bed. gonna be good. Put in graveyard. Yeah. Yes. Well, we drew a land. <sighs> so, so we can field of ruin. Field of ruin. Get our planes. And then wrath next turn. Nope, because they have Thalia. <laughs> we'll have to path it, which we can't. <laughs> which we can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you mean we can't path it? Thalia. Because well, well, if we field oh, of ruin yeah, to get our white yeah. source, we can't. Um, okay. No, we're just gonna have to field of ruin their mutal vault so and try we to just stay alive. Play an well, EE for no. two this turn. Do we just play EE for one? Because they have two Miles Wanderers and Aether Vial. Yeah, like. Okay. I like it. Yeah, like it sucks that the Thalia gets to live, but like if the any spirit is two extra damage on so board, so you play it for zero, right? Yeah, right now it's on zero. And done. then it's on zero, done. Yep. And it's star versus, uh, sun versus one. And then we'll crack it right now. Opponent's probably just like, what? How is he playing it for one but getting... This is cheating. <clears throat> I actually um, <clears throat> did not know about the interaction until recently. Because yeah. um, I, not that I didn't know about it in paper, I couldn't figure out how to make it work online because every time I clicked it, it said X is zero or X is one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, that's weird. I don't, I don't trust that. We do get to Field of Ruin and kill their Thalia. And they now. don't have Spellcaller up. You got opponent. Opt in the grave? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, we're so good at this. <laughs> okay. So, Field of Ruin away, Mutable, and we'll be able to hold a path. Yeah, and we get yeah. a white source here. Yeah. So, just pass it their turn? Yeah, do it on their upkeep. Because we don't want them well, to... because then they could well, animate the no. other one. No, we would want them to do it on a combat, wouldn't we? Yeah. Let them activate the Mutable? Well, if they draw a second uh, colored land, they would they they possibly have, have Spell Queller. Okay. Although, I guess if they Queller it... We Not think... if they activate the Mutable, they won't. Yeah, if they activate the Mutal Vault, they don't have enough mana for it. I'm Cause, just... Because they'll have to well, swing. Well, if they don't activate Mutal Vault. Right. I'm just saying. Okay. But, but no, if they if they queller our path, it's... Not the end of the world. Fine. Well, yeah. we will be giving them Spellcaller mana when we Field of Ruin. Which is... Well, no, we're Field of Ruining their Hollowed Fountain, right? Yeah, I think we just pass here, and we're going to plan on Field of Ruining their Hollow Found and let okay. them go back to our turn. Okay, that's fair. And if we, there's a chance we're going to be taking a um, bunch of damage, but it's a little awkward, but it's fine. Because we kind of have to get rid of one Mutal Vault because of the Gideon. Uh, yeah, but I guess but, we do have to Field of Ruin a Mutal Vault. Well, we have the path for it, is the upside. So we'll be able to... Well, I, I mean, like, I guess we do it in combat. Okay, well, we're doing it in combat, so let's pass it over. Our opponent is so Ooh, that's rude. awkward as all get out because if he had if he activates so the now we ball now, do it now then um no we still have to we yeah still, we have to do it on their turn we so. have to do it on the swing and then we will have to path the selfless spirit and no we're still pathing the thalia right yeah because we can't supreme bird because it, it's either way oh, we're wait. removing two damage so okay. like if we if we field of ruin one of the muta vaults. He still has to sack Selfless Spirit to save it. Mm-hmm. And Path doesn't save Well, no, if he, if he we, if we let that resolve, he can tap... Mm, okay. Whatever. No, it's, it's fine. Sorry. Yeah, I think we this just... This removes two damage either way. Yeah. So Because we'll just... he has to sack it on his turn to save anything. You, do you guys it. realize that if we feel we're in a Muta Vault, he can animate it and sack the Selfless Spirit? To no, that's s- what he's saying. That's fine, though. We he can't can... get our land off Field of Ruin. No, it does. It destroys it. It de- fails. It, it tries to do the story effect. That doesn't matter, and then you're going to get the land either way. They're two separate abilities. It doesn't fizzle the ability. It yeah. just... The Muta Vault just doesn't get destroyed. Yeah, they, we're ramping them. 
is what's going to happen. But it'll also tap the mutal vault because it'll be. Are you sure, oh, no. it works that way. No, it doesn't tap it because that's not a regen. It's yeah, it's it's two separate. It's uh, two effects within it, and it'll try to complete it as much as possible. See how it says destroy. It's an if then, then, right? No, there's no if then. It says destroy target non basic land, okay. and then each player searches. Okay. So this is fine. No, it's not fine, but it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate we have to do this. So we let them swing. And then we go for the field of ruin. Oh my lord, he's still on attackers. This. On this. What's yep. that? Oh, we lose. If we... We have to grab what? Uh, a white source here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> they just got the extra mana they needed to activate both mutal vaults to swing out on us because we're taking uh, four this turn to go down three. No, we're pathing right now. I, I understand. We're still taking four. We're taking four regardless. We're going to three. And then when we cast Wrath to wipe the board... So, do we... They, they would be able to Gideon... I mean, they'll, they'll be able to activate both Mutavault to swing in on us. So do we path the Mutavault and try to draw a land so we can Supreme Verdict the other two? That's the one I'm thinking. That's our only line, then. Yeah, sure. Because otherwise we're dead, right? Yeah. Yep. I guess we have Oscanta to look for two untapped lands. Mm -hmm. and it, it can't be a fetch or a shock. A shock. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be an actual basic, and we only have an island left to do that. No, we also have... Uh, we have two glacial, islands. Glacial and sulfur. Yeah. Well, we can actually. Get well, we can draw a helix. Yeah. Yeah, helix is good too. Or a snap. That's a bolt. That'll work. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, it does. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm oh. clicking no. Uh, transform yes. Oh, so good. So, so we now we can verdict. Oh wait, you, wait. No, we, we don't have, want a verdict right now. No, we have to, right? No, we have path and bolt. Okay. Right. Well, well they no, could have spell so, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we could bolt the Thalia, uptick the Gideon on oops. their rattle chains, and then if they swing with the mutal vault, we'll be at one. Well, I like the Supreme Verdict. Well, they could have because... another Rattle Chains right now. That doesn't matter, because they... Well, okay, yeah, Rattle Chains... So if we bolt the Thalia, play Gideon, Emblem Gideon. We're just dead to a Rattle Chains anyway, so we don't play around Rattle Chains. So we no, Supreme we're not, Verdict we're not, here... Uh, we're not dead if we go bolt Thalia, play Gideon, Emblem Gideon. We'll be at six, basically. And if they play Rattle Chains, we'll be able to either put us to zero or kill Gideon and then put the other one to one. Right? I like the line of bolting the Thalia and upticking Gideon on the Rattle Chains. I know that puts us dead to Rattle Chains, but like George said, we're dead to Rattle Chains either way. We're not dead with my line. But your line's also more punishing. Because they'll just kill Gideon the following turn. Okay, so we won't be dead though. True. <laughs> but we'll be dead the following turn I don't know I kind of like the supreme verdict here because it just because like we can play the Gideon next turn and have well no we can't have ugh Christ these double white cards <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. We are. Is this game three? Yeah. yeah. All right, we got seven minutes. That's plenty of time. So, your play is very reasonable. Keeps us alive through a rattle chains. Through a rattle chains. Um, but it just throws the Gideon away. It throws the Gideon away. Yeah. But we will still have Supreme Verdict in hand. Yeah, but Supreme Verdict like doesn't take care of the Mutal Vault. And are we going to be losing? But we'll it? have the path still for the mutable. But we have to. But we're we'll going to have verdict plus path. 
source. No, we verdict takes both of our white sources. God damn it, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we just verdict here and hope that they don't have a rattle chains. And Isn't the upside of bolting with a Gideon higher? Because if, if it gets to go back to our turn and they don't have an, a rattle chains, we have now have a Gideon online. They can kill you. Uh, no, because we're Molly bolting can. the Thalia, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're going to tick up yeah. on the rattle chains. All right, I like that play, then. If we're sure. not going to do... Yeah. yeah. Don't have an opponent. <laughs> oh, we're also dead to a Supreme Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we, we died to a Supreme Phantom with this play. But... I think we were dead to that no matter what. No, this Verdict play plays around it. Because he can't flash it in. And there's... Well, no, not yet. The Verdict play dies. No, well. yeah, it dies yeah. as well. Yeah. They're yeah. tapped out and they just play it on their turn anyway. Yeah. yeah. We're just... And your play dies to it too. <laughs> None of us were thinking about Supreme Right, Phantom. because then they can kill Gideon and hit yes. us. It's exactly <laughs> lethal us. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, but, without how much our opponent's thinking here, we must be in a great spot. <laughs> or we're just getting slow world. Alright. Put us the one, or hit Gideon? Oh. He's gonna, be, Supreme he's, gonna be fancy. he's gonna be fancy. Fancy. He's gonna do it before damage. Oh, you're so good at this game. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. Emblem. Emblem Gideon. Uh, okay. Yes. Emblem Gideon. Yeah. Yeah, we have to emblem here. Play do land. We, do we Supreme for the one creature? No. We just play land pass, right? We yeah. can just Kanta try to find a Helix. Okay. That'd be pretty decent. I think that's our best play at this point. That's fine. Is that fine. There's nothing we can really do about it. Well, we yeah we no, have this to is okay. we have to no don't let them untap because they why? kill us. They have um, right, um if they have any sort of interaction for our path to exile now we die. So as Kanta leaving up your red Can't. and your hollow fountain. Okay. You that? Yeah. Yep. There's a bolt. Alright, so we take a bolt. We and bolt. Then we bolt the rattle chains. Yes. And do we just... Just path this one just to get it off the board? Um, right now? No, like, we want, us, we want we them want to, to activate the muta bolt. Yeah, we want to be able to path the muta bolt, I feel like. Yeah, okay. we want to get rid of this muta bolt. <laughs> that thing has been a, such a pain Okay, in now eyes. they could quell her when they are... Yeah, but they're, they're going to be trying to kill the Gideon. So even if they quell her, we're not dead, and we get to, like, Supreme Verdict, and then still die, but... Okay, what's going cool on? We just pray to... They're attacking with both, so just path the middle vault? Yeah. yeah. Please don't have a quell our opponent. Damn it. Okay, but now we have Verdict. Yeah, but we still... Our, our path's still gonna get wasted, and our Gideon's dead. So we need Verdict plus a warrior to spell. Yeah, we died. We're dead. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, no, we can as Kanta try to find a helix. Yeah. Helix, boom. Helix, the, the spell caller. Well, wait, wait. Do we try to do it on their? No. Uh, yeah. The, no, just do it. No. Yeah, I guess we do it right now. We do still have to find a win con for it. Yeah, play a little bit faster. Now, do they sack it? Yeah, of course. No. Nope. nope. They, they, want they, the they land. wanted the land out of their deck. 
Do we play the flooded stream here? No, I'd rather have a discard for it, I guess. No, because I guess I'm discarding Emerald. Yeah, you have to discard Emerald. Whatever. <laughs> I don't think man has an issue at this point. Yikes. Oh, that's not so the Supreme Burger's gonna be great. Kind we're of. Going still, one, yeah, we're going to one, though. Yeah, we're going to one. So this flooded strand is now off. Thankfully, we didn't play it. <laughs> Alright, we can play that. Yeah. We verdict, and we're just dead to the mutable. wall. Yep. So search. Yeah. But I don't think we can find up anything. Um, we survive if they have no spirit and we hit another helix. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an anger. And we lose. Yeah. Yep. Time to mute vault. Gross. 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 Well. <sighs> nice control deck. Here's these creature lands. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So that is the end of uh, Jeskai Nahiri. I would just like to say... Uh, my my line of using the verdict earlier would yes. have beat yep. them. Yeah. Just, you know, hindsight twenty twenty. Yes. I wanted yes. to get that dagger. There was in there. there was three valid lines. No. And mine was correct, so yours, <laughs> yours just happened to be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this deck back. And then we're gonna switch over. And brew up a Teamer Epic Experiment Thousand Year Storm deck, right? Uh, not at this moment, but if you want to send me that deck when you come over next, I will let you pilot that deck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to play it yourself, man. You don't. You don't 